Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Weird. I'm here on a Saturday afternoon. So I'm not sure if I will have very many of you or if we're still counting down, but hello, hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, just make sure that I have people here at that. Let me know what the video quality is looking like if you're watching from Facebook or YouTube. Just let me know that everything's working because the little um, connection thing looks funny on here. So I just want to make sure you can see me and everything's working okay. How are you? I don't normally do this on Saturday. So we'll see what is the connection going to be like. But um, hi, how are you doing? Um, feeling better, but not better. I don't know. It looks like um, Riley woke up last night with flu symptoms and I'm thinking it's possibly what is going on here. Thought maybe it was um, the after effects of my second vaccination, but I got that on Wednesday and I didn't feel like perfect on um, Thursday, but I was okay. S on Friday, we packed up stuff to ship. We made a trip to um, the mailbox for the US stuff and um, then I came home and I said to Rich, I'm going to go lay down. I don't feel good. And uh, then it just went downhill. And uh, my friend Janice came to pick up some stuff and she said, just take the night off. And I'm like, how do I take the night off? I'm always there on Friday. Like, I don't think, I, th I think it's been a year and I haven't missed a Friday. So um, I just decided that I was, I, I couldn't, I couldn't have done it last night. I had a fever and everything. So I feel better today but not better. Like I haven't eaten today because food just doesn't make me very happy, but I feel well enough to craft. So we're doing it tonight. So don't uh, be worried that like, why is she on here if she doesn't feel good? I'm excited to sit down and just make today. It's going to be very relaxed making, but you're either going to love this. I think you'll love aspects of it, but you might, might not love what I'm excited to add on to the page. <laughs> but you know what? I'm totally channeling um, some Tim Holtz today because the stamps that I'm using is uh, his specimens set. And I'm very excited to put little ladybugs all the way up our page that we're going to put a black background on white foundations paper. And then we are going to put some fluorescent on it. And then we're going to put some ladybugs up there. Are you loving Tim's new color? Yes. And I, because I'm out of it today, um, I'm trying to remember it's not blue ribbon. <laughs> what was it? Remind me something ribbon. And I have trouble. I meant to, uh, um, write it to prize ribbon. Thank you. Yes. I love it. I think that, uh, it is a blue that I will totally love because it will work beautifully with color. So I find that it doesn't pull a lot of purple. It is just that kind of perfect blue. So I'm very excited for prize ribbon. And I got the notification because Tim sent it to me that it will arrive on Tuesday. So we will do something to honor prize ribbon um, when I get it. So I'm very excited. Uh, yay, um, black, love it. Yes, we're going to do on black. So it'll be like a marriage of a couple of fun things. So I and I'm very excited because I because I have to be modern and doing the things I was just before I came on live doing a reel of the one that we started, but I hadn't glued everything down. Oops, everything's backwards. Glued everything down from um, the last Friday Night Lives. So it is finished. And I did a reels so that I can be all like cool and doing the videos like I'm supposed to be doing for my socials. But um, that making flowers was really fun with the fluorescent uh, texture paste. And now we're going to go and do um, something else today that just popped into my mind when we were working on that one last Friday. So we'll pretend like it's Friday Night Live. I have no agenda. I'll probably be here for a while just making. And then also, if you guys are signed up, I know a lot of you out there are signed up for the gel plate printing class, which is going to be so much fun. That starts this Monday. I will go when I'm done my live tonight and I will post kind of a condensed um, materials list and what to expect for Monday. 
because I know some of you are stressing out. So I want to put it in just a simple spot where you don't have to go through everything. And then um, I'll put it in uh, on the private group. If you haven't got in that private group, make sure that you go and find that. Um, I see Natalie's here and cooking dinner. If she can't add you, I will. But I, I have to check. I think it's called Vicki Booten Gel Plate Printing Workshop. But if you just search the groups, you will find it. I did put a link to it in the description for the class on VickiBooten.com. So if you go there, there's the link is there. Just cut and paste it and then just have your order number ready. But I will check you. If, if you can't find your order number and you're panicked about that, no worries. Just go and ask to be added. I will search you out on my Shopify if you don't have your order number and make sure you get added. But you need to be there so you're ready for Monday. And even if I know a lot of you signed up, but you're traveling, it's vacation time, no worries. All the content, even though I'm doing it live, just because I like that, the whole feel of being able to teach and have um, Q&A and feedback while we're going and be able to answer your questions doesn't mean you can't come back and watch those recorded whenever you feel like it. So it'll be a lot of fun. No stress, friends. You just need some acrylic paint, your gel plate, some brayers. Uh, paper is a big thing. You need a big stack of paper and you don't have to just start. Don't invest in the best cardstock or print everything on foundations paper. Just get a decent quality printer paper so you literally have a stack of paper beside you that you can pull prints and practice and then have a whole bunch of stuff that we can, we're going to go back and we're going to do decoupage and we're going to sew on them and we're going to do lots of fun things. So no stress about that. But yes, I will be doing the things. Up to this point, all orders have gone out unless it is something that um, just came in yesterday. I have, so if there's replacements, because I missed things in a few kits, um, I've sent everything out. There is a stack of Canadian ones that will go out as well on Monday, and we should be good. So if you have any issues, uh, email me at vickybootenkits at gmail.com. And then um, maybe I missed you in the whole craziness that is fulfillment, but I will for sure, I've got your back. I'll cover all of that. I wish I'd been able to order the gel plate starter set. Missed out next time. Doesn't matter, Kelly. If you couldn't, go to michaels.ca and use your 40% off coupon to get the 8x10 gel plate. You will get a, the best deal from those kind of places because they order in such huge amounts, right? Or Amazon, and then you can get it really fast. You did not. I only offered that for you guys, but I had very few because the interest was minimal. And then, of course, when I put them on the store, everybody bought them right away. And then I couldn't get any more. So no, no biggie. You're all good. I'm very excited for the class Monday. I had a discussion about uh, next four weeks with the hubs and told them it's probably frozen dinners on class night or pizza or whatever. Or make a casserole the night before and it can be leftovers. But I started it. Um, those, all those lives will be at 630 Eastern time so that it hopefully is a good time for people around the world. Um, we can discuss it. The first one's gonna be at 6.30 and if we need to switch that time a little bit, we can talk about it in the first class, but it'll be good. And hello friends, hi everybody. So um, I think it's gonna be a quiet one because this is just a random Saturday afternoon, but we'll flip the camera and we're gonna make something I think that's gonna be fun. You need for tonight, whatever your base is gonna be. I'm using foundations paper. I have black acrylic paint. That's what I'm going to use. Um, I have black gesso, but I would have had to go upstairs to get it. So I'm just going to throw some acrylic paint on there. We're going to do it in a very dry application so that we can get to it right away. Uh, we're going to be using my fluorescent texture paste because I'm really excited to go like full on funky colors. So we're going to do that. I have a stencil. Um, I have stencil brushes here. I have gold glaze because I thought a layer of gold would really be fun um, uh, on the background. So we're just going to do the things, right? Um, and uh, Kelly was saying that Amazon, she got a, a gift card for Christmas. That's perfect, right? And then when you're on there, even look for or go grab um, some decent printer paper. Like don't get the cheapest stuff that you put in your printer. Get one that's a little bit heavier. And if you have any um, office supply stores, when you go in, you can get like some good 
paper that doesn't cost you a fortune and it's eight and a half by 11, which will be perfect for the gel plate if you're using your eight by 10. So uh, yay, let's get started. I hope any questions before we get started? I've let my husband and son know they can't disturb me during the gel plate class or else. I love it. Yeah, I'll have to let my family know, but you never know. The Bootens could, could come down and bother us while we're working, but it's good. How do you store your gel plate? Well, and we'll talk about that in the class. A lot of uh, people say, don't leave it in the package. I leave it in the package and I've had no issues with it, especially for you guys, if you have pets or anything, uh, it's sticky. So you, one, if your cat hair or dog hair gets on it, it can permanently damage the plate because it cuts into it. And if you nick anything on the plate, you will always be printing that. But we'll talk about that. That's a thing for when we start on Monday. Okay, so we'll, that is what Monday is gonna be is literally all of the questions, doing all the things and getting started, just pulling some simple prints. Um, and then on Thursday, we'll get into the next and then the following Monday, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thoughts on the new Distress Ink color. I love it. It's not what I expected, but I it wouldn't matter if what Tim brought out, even if it was, a, well, I'm not gonna lie. If it was a shade of brown, it wouldn't be my favorite. For sure, would I buy it 100%? Because I have to have the full complete set of all Distress. So the blue is beautiful. I love it. Um, and now I'm hoping that we do some warmer colors for the next round, but of course I love it. I think it's a beautiful shade of blue. Um, and I just, if Tim brings it out, there's a reason for it. And I'm like, okay, okay, master. I mean, master artist, right? Master artist, whatever you bring out, I'm gonna buy it. I'm totally all over it. I love it, so it'll be good. Opaque means not translucent. Acrylic is a type of paint, so absolutely acrylic. Uh, is that a question about um, type of paint? Team Peach. Yes, I want a peach. I want some more pinks, some more oranges, some more reds, but it'll come eventually, right? He's going to be adding all the time and I'll take whatever I can get. I love it. Um, yes, you can get a conditioner for your gel plate. I use, um, you can condition it with baby oil. You, we'll talk about all those things, but that's not for today, right? We'll, we'll, we'll be on all of those things. So it's good. And um, uh, we'll talk about, I'm not going to talk about this now. I'll talk about it in the group later because there's lots of people here who are not here for the gel plate so we're just going to annoy them so we'll talk about that i will go on and put a whole post um i will look at some of your questions and um we can do all of the things answer all the questions right i'd love a, another yellow you know and we all will have those colors that we'll like in the distress but like i said he's smart he's a smart guy so i just go with whatever he has i'm like okay just give, I signed up for it. Um, even with uh, not knowing the color, I ordered them from Ranger with my Ranger order. And then Tim said stuff will be on the way. And I just got the confirmation yesterday that it will arrive on Tuesday. So I will have double and triple of uh, the new color and I'll be super happy. So yay, I'm glad you're stopping in for a bit. I know Saturday's a weird thing. So let's flip the camera and let's start working, okay? Hi guys, I, I know it looks like when I'm on the laptop and I'm reading comments and the camera's here, I look like I'm all over the place. So uh, I kind of am, but let's do it. Let's flip to this and we'll talk about what we're gonna be doing tonight. So I'm going to move my laptop lower because then I can see your um, comments and then, whoops, we'll get started. How's everybody doing? Did you guys have a good Saturday? It's raining and miserable here. Um, so uh, that's unfortunate, right? You pre-ordered the Christmas collection and the new distress color. I love it. And uh, so speaking of warm wishes, if you guys have not ordered your pre-order for the weekend event, that you will get pretty much the entire collection except for like the cards and the paper, the paper pad. Um, I still have them on vickybooten.com and I just got confirmation that the paper is actually mailing this week. So all of uh, Warm Wishes is coming and um, next will be the new collection that I have to be careful because I will tell you what it is and I'm not supposed to yet, but I'm very excited about that. And then guess what I've been doing this week on top of all the other craziness? working on the collection that will come out in 2022. 
been working on that. It is, you guys are going to love it. It is colorful and beautiful and it's going to be so much fun. So we're working on the paper part of that now. So that's exciting, right? Um, more than 14 days post second vaccination. Um, and what you're still not feeling well started going out um, about this week. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's, I think we got the flu in this house because Riley did not have a vaccination and he is not feeling well. He's sick upstairs. So I think that we probably caught some kind of a bug, um, but we'll be good. I'm good. I just don't be surprised if I just break out sweating. Cause that's the thing that I have, I probably have a fever. <laughs> So if I don't make sense tonight, just go with the art and ignore me. I Are you, Joyce, I, I see your cap talk to me. What do you, I don't know how to keep it all together. I'm not, did I miss something, Joyce? Monsoons hit Arizona this week. Oh my goodness, Beast, that's some scary stuff. We had a tornado not far from here this week in Barrie. Um, well, it's far enough that it really didn't affect us at all, but um, it's crazy, right? I'm excited about the Christmas collection. I can't think about the one after that. I know. And um, Scrap and Amy, think like, look at me. The Christmas one's coming out, so it's starting to ship. And then the next collection comes out. We'll talk about it in August, and it'll start shipping in September. And Natalie said, when are you going to do your weekend? I said, I'll figure it out somewhere in there, but you won't want to miss that one, especially if Christmas isn't your jam, then you're going to love this next collection. And I'm super excited to tell you guys that um, it looks like for the um, collection in 2022 that I'll get to do another album with it. So I'm really excited about that because it certainly helps when we're doing um, uh mini book classes that we can have customized album that goes with the whole collection. So yes, August, at the end of August, the new collection, we'll start talking about that. Um, I don't know if it's gone out to anybody retailers yet. I don't think so. It's very hard. It, there's so much going on right now. I can't even keep track of the things. So it's craziness. So um, I will be looking at the chats while we get started, but I'm very excited to say I actually finished something. And you know, if you've been following that we did this and oops, this is falling apart because, um, and I have the card is done too, right? That we did on the last Friday Night Live and I'm very excited about it. I, I'm trying to keep track of what, um, Michelle saying, yes, we have seen, uh, so you've seen it. You've, you've seen my new collection that will come out in August, right? It will start shipping in September. Am I right, Michelle? Or are you just telling fibs? <laughs> well, I'm going to put that one on there. I had extra leaves. So we'll find, I think, both of those before we move on to the next thing. I'm going to add them on this page. But I lost my uh, glue gun, so not right now. I'll just set it aside and we'll do it later. Yes, it's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. It um, is really, really funny. It's really fun. Class is tomorrow too, right? Yes. If you are signed up for, do I have it here? Let me grab it. It's pretty relaxed today, friends. Um, it's just me hanging out with friends, doing a live. So let's talk about this. So yes, if you are trying to keep straight, because a lot of you sign up for all the things, this will be happening tomorrow. So this is the uh, Let's Get Away album. I have to tell you. So I wrote the instructions this week. So I went through it and fell in love with it all over again. We are going to be making this tomorrow. Uh, I still have kits left. There was so much that came out on my website that I think people were a little overwhelmed because everything was kind of backlogged, like always with trying to order anything during COVID times is craziness. But we are making this live tomorrow. But if you decide you still want a kit, you don't have to do this live with me to complete it. The video will all be recorded. I'll walk you all through it. But for anybody who did buy this kit, which is the Let's Wander kit, we will be doing this tomorrow. 
So I'm very excited about it. I have to show you. I love it. Um, I love the colors in this because I find that they're fun, but neutral enough that doesn't matter where your travel photos are from, that you will still be able to um, put them in here and it won't compete with the colors. This is one of my favorites. I love this page. And I mixed um, Let's Wander from Simple Stories and the um, newest collection from um, Jen Hatfield. So it is going to be a lot of fun. This is one of these ones that we'll be doing. I'm very excited. So if you are taking this class tomorrow, it will start at 10 a.m. Make sure that you follow the link um, and the instructions. Really, all you need to print off is the uh, cut cutting diagram. If you're doing it live with me, we do all the paper cutting together. Are you ready? I love this page. Look at this. And then it has the side pocket. So you get everything you need in your kit to finish this. All you need are basic tools, but everything is included in the kit. Like I said, I still have this one. I have the, um, I love this. We still have the summer one. I have to figure out the adhesive I used on this is not working. So I have to glue this page back on somehow. I think I might just sew it on because it is annoying me. Every time I go to turn this page, this one turns off or uh, falls off, but it is a double flap. It's lots of fun. So this class, look at this one. I love this page pocket. Isn't that fun? So we'll be making this tomorrow. Like I said, still have kits at vickybooten.com. I still have the sun kiss kits. I do not have any of the layout kits left, but um, this will be tomorrow. So if you're joining me, eat your Wheaties, stretch at 930, get ready for it, get your paper clips, um, tell your family to leave you alone for a couple of hours. We're going to be doing this. It's super fun. So this one is let's wander. Yay. Any more questions? And then we're going to get started. Has the cutting diagram been posted for the layout and pocket class on Wednesday? No, Sherry Lynn, because I have to finish it. So it will probably go out Monday night. Okay, Monday night, because that's what I'm going to work on all day on Monday, finishing that one. And then, um, oh, and here, guys, if you signed up for the um, layout class for uh, Pink Fresh Studio, I didn't even list. You get two ephemera packs in that. So I didn't even realize it till I was packing those kits. I am going to go and add that onto all those layouts. So in everything that you're getting for that kit, you also have a whole additional ephemera pack that I have to go back and add onto all of my layouts because I didn't even realize that. So that is like what? Another like $5 US bonus. So super excited about that. And I will do access only for that class because those kits are sold out. Um, and if you are not in the can in the Canada or US and you want access tomorrow or um, for the one on Wednesday, just reach out to me and um, I'll set something up for you. But I have not posted access only for any of the things. So anyway, and the talking you're going to see already, my voice is all messed up. So um, if I'm a little quieter today as we're working, you'll know why, because I can feel it. I, I'm probably, I have to save it for tomorrow. Um, I'll go to bed early tonight though, so I'm not a hot mess for tomorrow. But I think it's a combination of a few things is um, probably the second vaccination. I think, like I said, there's some kind of a little bit of a bug in the house and I think exhaustion. I'm not going to lie. It's just all catching up with me and um, I can feel it in my voice. Yes, it's going to be so much fun tomorrow. So even if say you sign up for the, you, you decide I want that kit, but you don't have it in time, you can still join us. We have a lot of pe people who maybe aren't doing the class with us live, but will sit in their craft room and make something else and then just listen so they can follow along with the paper cutting. And the videos are always recorded. So even though I'm doing it live, it still will be recorded so that you can watch at your leisure. Okay. So if there's any questions, let me know. But let's just make something. So what, Janice, uh, yes, you have some pistachios. Is that your snack for tomorrow, Patty? And uh, Patty has a new craft room that she's building. And I'm very excited to see that come together. 
Okay, friends. So my plan for today, when we were playing with um, the texture pace, so these I'm trying to, so if you guys invest in these things with the mixed media stuff, trying to come with, up with lots of different ways to use them. So you have something that supports your investment. So I want to use these on black because I think they're really going to pop. And then I might put some type of accent in the gold um, texture or pardon me, uh, gold. I'm so tired. I apologize. The gold creative effects. I'm going to put some gold in there. And then I decided I love this little guy off of the specimen stamp. So I am going to do something. We're going to stamp some of these. And I know for some of you probably will either love this or it's not your jam. So you pick any stamp. You need a stamp today. So it can be if you have this set. Um, I will link it with all of my um, affiliate links. I did post them yesterday. But uh, running around getting ready for today. I forgot to post them in the description here. But I will. But I'm going to use this little... Um, kind of beetle looking ladybug on my layout today so i'm going to stamp some of these and fussy cut them and pop them and uh you can either use this or uh the roach is growing on me i love him i but i love all of this whole set i absolutely adore um butterflies of course but i even like this guy i think it'd be fun and you know for me i'll just put any photo i love on it it does not have to mean i'm at a picnic or it doesn't have a, to be a photo that has a ladybug on it if i want to make with tim holt specimen stamp which i absolutely love the vintage effect of this or vintage look of this i'm gonna put some bugs all over my page but if you don't have this set you can use butterflies you can use flowers circles stars whatever you want you just need a stamp for the second part of this hello victoria calvin how are you i love your layout using the new distress color um it's beautiful i did go and comment on it i don't know if you saw that but i love my friend victoria is here she's probably making something fabulous in her studio today and I'm glad that you decided to drop in and say hello. Very excited. So we're going to start with our first layer, which is black. Because you guys, we talked about this last week. And you were kind of excited about this whole idea of putting some black down. Um, and I decided, let's do it. You're more partial to butterflies. And go for it, Sherry. I really have zero limitations on what I'll do, right? So you know what? It's one page. If I don't love it, I don't care. I'll just go with it, right? So just do whatever makes you happy. If you are not partial to bugs, <laughs> but you're partial to butterflies, put the butterflies on here, right? Um, so I'm going to put some black on here. Black acrylic. I'm using Liquitex. You'll want one that is uh, fairly opaque so that you actually have black on your background. And then I'm just, we can do two different techniques. I'm going to drag some black down here. So mine is going to kind of go, my plan is like this so that I can put my um, bugs on this side. And then I can have my photos on this side. You could also brayer it. So we'll try two different ways to add the black on here, right? Uh, scrapping Amy, I'm just going to watch and continue to swatch my watercolor pencils. I can't wait to see what you create. I love it. I love it. So I'm going for it. Let's do it. So for different, I can't find because I cleaned up my um, art wedge, but different things you could use to drag is that I have a brayer here. I'll do two backgrounds and we'll decide what we like best. Okay, so if you're working along with me, let's get started. Less is more you can always add, but you can't take away. So just put some little dots of paint down, and then let's see what this gets us. So I have this scrapbook.com uh, little squeegee tool, and I'm going to push that up there and maybe across, and then just start dragging it down. So I'm definitely going to layer this, but I love that. So I'm not going to fight that. But I do need it to kind of cover up here. So let's see, what do we get? And give her friends. Okay. 
Let's put another layer on here. I'm gonna, instead of dots now, I'm gonna drag a line across. Can you see that? Dragging a line across. And what's nice by using the, um, you know what, too? I have an idea. Because I don't like to waste. So let's see what happens if I take another sheet of foundations and put it on there. So instead of cleaning off my um, craft mat, I can do a frame on, in a frame. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm taking another sheet of foundations. It can be anything behind it. But I have an idea. I'm going to miss this. So I have two sides to choose from. And I'm going to throw my second sheet of foundation back there just because I can. So that's going to pick up any paint that's there. But I'm also, for anything that I drag off, is going on here and I can use that for something else. So I'm going to take that and kind of smush it around again and I'm going to drag it down. I want to break that up. Too much paint. yeah digging that gonna set it aside let it dry and decide if I want to use this one or something else because I went a little crazy on the paint and it's not exactly what I wanted so let's do that again Ooh, look at that I am loving that. So what I'm doing is grabbing a paper towel. I'm taking some of that off the edge because I don't want it to pull on the edge of this. And I'm going to keep doing that. See how I'm kind of just tapping the pattern? And I'm loving those little bits that are looking distressy in there. And don't poo-poo it yet, because I know for some of you, this will put you over the edge, because you don't know where I'm going with it. And you know with crafting with me, is that's exactly, you have no clue, you just have to trust. And a lot of times, um, you guys who've been here for a while, you'll trust. Some people who are new and watching this will go like, that looks like a hot freaking mess. What is this broad doing? I have zero interest in that. And then when it's done, you're like, okay, Okay, I see. So just trust, right? I had a great time playing with your watercolor markers this morning. Yes, super pigmented. I love those babies. I don't know that song, Colleen. I will have to look it up. It's acrylic and it's black, so it's going to be messy for a minute. Let's put one more little dobby up here. Because I know I want to play up these little draggies here. Ooh, I love that, friends. See, manipulate it a little bit. Let's do another one of that. Let's manipulate it a little bit. So kind of get in there and lightly start to bring that across. I love this. I love this one. This works for me. 
so excited about remember i wet the back oh i wish i would have done it on another page look at i love that but key sarah have to leave that but because i can let's take set this aside let's wet our mat and let's pick up what's left on it let's see if we can't get some more of that so grab another sheet of foundations do not layer your wet paint on your wet paint or it'll all stick together, okay? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I gotta get up. I can't pick this up. I love that, Stacy. When you said your package was from your friend Vicky and your daughter said, uh, but mom, you don't really know her. And you said, yes, I do. And I agree. Because you know, if, if you follow me, and a lot of the ladies and guys out there who um, are part of this community have met me in real life. And this is what you get, right? This is what you get. So look at why. Let's see. Let's see. Let me try it. Let's see. This is why I put a craft mat down. This is why you need craft mats. Um, because it's non-porous. So instead of wasting this and putting it all on a paper towel, let's see what happens when we pick this up. So I'm going to let this sit for a second, and this will be an opportunity for making later. Um, and it's messy, right? So um, I will have to grab a new paper towel. I told you I was very excited to do this today, and it's in my head. I laugh because I said that to Janice yesterday. The idea in my head is going to turn out really awesome. But I never know. Is it going to be awesome or is it going to look like poop? I don't know, but I'm okay with going with it, right? Because it's just a piece of paper in our time. So I am picking up most of what you would have wiped up on a paper towel on this sheet of foundation. And then um, you want it, don't want to lift it right away. I want the water and the pigment to kind of soak into the fibers of the paper. And then let's see. Yay! No, I'm using foundations paper, Sherry. Because this is going to end up. Oh, look at it. Do you see now? Like, we will do something fast and furious on this page. I'm going to wet it one more time and put the other corner in it. Not too wet, okay? But let's pick it up because we can. And then we'll let this dry. I might pull out my mink. And flatten this out. But you would have wiped that all up on a paper towel, wouldn't you? And you would have got rid of it. And I just think that it is fun. And you know when you play with me, look at, I love that. So now I'll wipe it up. I will commit to wiping it up. But you would have wasted that. And now it makes the cleanup so much easier because you just pretty much picked up all that black pigment. And we just have a little bit of foundations, or pardon me, foundations, a little bit of black to pick up. And then I'm going to heat those backgrounds. Clean up my workspace. And I'm going to show you. We'll do something with this today. It'll be a bonus. Bonus class. And it's, well, you know what, too, Kimber? Like, it's it gets to a point where it's not even a happy accident. It's just a taking the opportunity to make. Like, just looking beyond what you have set in your head and going, okay, um, it's pigment. There's a pattern why shouldn't I put it on something I can use, right? So I love that. And you watch, we're going to elevate the heck out of this. It's going to be so good. You, it's going to be so good. Hi, Angie. How are you, friend? Um, feeling better? Not 100%. Know that I have to go to bed early tonight. But um, thank you. Your concern yesterday was awesome. I'm sorry I did not respond. I did go to bed, though, last night. 
I um, went up and watched some RuPaul's Drag Race because I love that show. And um, Rich came up and I was sleeping with the TV on. And uh, then I went to bed and I slept right till nine o'clock and that never happened. So I was actually kind of happy for the rain today because it was dark and I slept till nine. So I will take it. Okay. Get, you know, I have to clean the things off friends that will either drive you crazy that I'm taking the time to do it, or you're just like me and you get it. But if I clean this all off now, when I want to use it without black paint later, it's not going to be a hot mess. So done. You could use, you could use the old gift card. You could use anything that's a straight edge, right? Anything that's a straight edge. I would have used my art wedge if I knew where it was, but I don't know where it is. See? Yay. This Natalie, if you, Natalie was making supper, so she might not have even seen, was just what was left on my craft mat. Because I saw it on the back of this one and went, why would I waste that? Right? It was on the back. Are you ready? Of this page. <gasps> Look how pretty. And I went, ooh, we need that again. And it actually even turned out better because most of the acrylic was gone. So totally digging it. And this will be a bonus. So what do we make? I have this one that we made. And I have this one. So two options. And sometimes it's just getting a feel for it. And even if I'm not going to use this one today, um, it will certainly work for something else. Or for some of you who like to do double page layouts, like, look at, there you go. Hello. Totally can do that. I, of course, am not of the school that it has to be a double or single. It's whatever I feel like making. And today, it's going to be a single. So I'm going to give this a little blast with my heat gun just to let that dry a bit. I found my tape runner <laughs> that I couldn't find. I had moved it for safekeeping. Welcome to the dark side. I've always come to the dark side, Natalie. I use black all the time. I just sometimes don't want it on there. Sometimes I'm all about the rainbows and butterflies. Hi, honey. I'm on Facebook Live. What are you doing? Why do you have a jacket on? You, are you really? He's picking his outfit for golf tomorrow. Where did you, did you go out? Oh, okay, you were outside. Are you gonna go anywhere today? Like to Walmart or anything? So there is, even though you would think there's some matte in this, it has a little bit of a shine this acrylic. So I thought it needed to be dried because it looks shiny, but the paint just has a little bit of gloss to it. It is black paint, Elise. It is just Liquitex acrylic. You could use gesso, which you definitely will get more of a matte finish if you use a gesso. But like I said, my gesso was upstairs and that would have required me to walk up there for the 50th time. And I went, nope. Not today. Um, Rich is a fashion plate. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at him going like, it's, it's freaking hot. Why do you have a jacket on? And then he kind of smiles at me and goes, I'm trying it on for tomorrow. I'm like, whatever. He does it with his golf. He does it with his, um, he does it with his golf and he does it with hockey. <laughs> He'll try his hockey equipment on to crazy man. So I love this. So you get the idea, like what is going to happen is we're going to now put some neon on it. And then I'm going to have like some little dancing bugs up here. Don't you think that's going to be fun? And I'm going to cut them out. So I'm going to fussy cut some dancing bugs. So I'm excited for it. You guys might not love the bug idea, but I think it's going to be great. I think the title could go right up here and then I could put my photos here with whatever. I want, but let's look at neon on here. So we have two options. I'm going to do two backgrounds kind of simultaneously because there's still black paint here too. So that's the problem. Acrylic is messy. Not going to lie. So um, where the paint hasn't dried, I better give this one a blast too. It is getting all over and it's black. So it's black. Black and black. You're black and black. 
is messy. Are your rain-soaked flower pots doing better? Oh, I don't know. Karen, I don't know. My flowers are a mess this year. And it makes me mad. I spent a lot of money on those containers. And I have to say, I told you, I will not buy one petunia next year. Because petunia, yes, because I killed them all. Um, they're leggy and they all died on me and I just cut them out of all the pots. Maybe I'll just put potato vine everywhere. Um, potato vine everywhere because it just, um, it does so well. So now it's going to be exciting that we're going to layer stencils. So if we do, yes, we really need uh, the Vibus crew smocks. I'm going to work on some merch, friends. I am going to work on um, some aprons, some pencil cases, some totes. That's my kind of idea. I just have to get there. And I love it. Uh, and bugs for boys. Yeah, if you want to. There will probably not be a boy on this layout because I don't – I'm not um, – I'll put anything on there. It's just to me an icon. And then I could put a layout, a picture of anything. My title will have nothing to do with bugs. Just so you know, I'm really going to really mess with you guys today. And it will, this is just going to be an element, but it'll have nothing to do with bugs. I will put any kind of photo on here, just like flowers, right? I, I look at it like um, if I did a layout with flowers all over, it doesn't mean I have to put garden photos on it, right? So we're just going to do all that. So you too, Patty, just like potato vines and daylilies, I'm telling you, I had so much trouble, right? Yeah, so much trouble. So now the, let's see what these fluorescents look like on the black. So of course, some of these colors, some are more fluorescent than others. So we know for 100, then I'm going to be doing pink on one of these. So let's start out with pink and then decide if I want another layer on here. So I have some ideas. I have my stencils here. You can use whatever you want. We use this one already. The polka dot one is on the other side. Um, we have the art layers. We have, ooh, kind of digging that. I might use the flat brush stroke. Um, look it. And so it's funny. So some of you guys either ordered the whole set or you pick and you picked and choose <laughs> you chose just the patterns that you really like and i will tell you the ones that um sold really well and the ones that are slower sellers and what makes me laugh is these two stencils are two of my favorites right so these are um this one is it says love scribble and it says scribble love online. I don't know where I made the mistake either when I sent the title to the manufacturer or when I put it up online, but it's the same stencil. Okay. And then this one is called scribble heart, but this one is super popular. This one really, really popular with the um, circles on it. Uh, this one kind of, you know, the one that not very many people ordered is this one, which I don't understand because this is what you want to layer on top. But you will watch as we start working through uh, how my mind works, like why I designed what I did. So things as I'm looking at this. So if we stenciled and use this as a stencil, we're going to put color through and only the um, I'm going to use this stencil on both. Get ready for it. I'm going to show you. Hi, Valerie. You're back from Wegmans and happy to be here. I'm happy to have you here. What did you get at Wegmans? That's a grocery store for any of my friends who don't know. I know because I do live on the border of the U.S. of A and Canada. So um, you're going to see what I'm going to talk about here. So we can stencil through this, which is going to be fun, but you will have not very much black left. Okay. We can also do a stencil stamp with it where the pigment is going to be on the stencil. So let's do the things. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Yay. So I'm moving this out. Even though we're working on two, I'm moving this out. We're going to start with this. Use whatever you want, friends. So you get the idea. This stencil is open. 
It is an open stencil. There is a, a very little negative space and a lot of positive or opposite. Lots of positive space and not, I don't know, I'm too tired, but you get what I'm saying, right? Yes, I'd like you to go on. And Valerie, I'd like you to make me up a charcuterie board right now with all of that stuff that you bought. Um, just throw some olives and fruit on there and we'll be all set. So let me just pick out a couple pieces that are still in here. And I'm going to go through this, I think, with my stencil brush. Okay, so that it is a thin amount of color going through. And we're going to get wild and crazy. And I'll stay similar in the color wheel area where I'm going to go in on this one with some pink. So I'm going to make a little pink palette right here. And I'm going to go in with some yellow and with the orange, with the stencil brush. You ready? So if you ha don't have my stencils, which a lot of you don't, won't, you don't need to use my stencil. You just want one that looks similar to this. So not like this. You could use whatever you have. I'm not even, no rules, man. Just go for it. So I'm making some palettes of paint right now. So I'm going to put these two colors down and we're going to get wild and crazy up in this joint. I'm going to put it in with a stencil brush. You can do whatever you want. If you want them to be thick texture paste, just drag it through the stencil. I want it to have light and dark areas of these pigments. So I'm going to control it with my stencil brush. And I'm going to be so crazy today. I'm not even going to really clean the stencil brush in between because it will make pretty colors when any of these blend. So I don't have to worry about that. So let's go. I don't even know. I have not tried, tested this. I'm just going to do it and see what I get. So I've loaded my stencil brush with some of that delicious, oh, I just painted all over that, uh, watermelon sour. And let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, it's going to be freaking awesome. Okay, I'm going to go in some watermelon sour. And now I'm going to just pick up some of that orange and I'm going to throw some of that on there too. Oh my goodness. And do you see where those two colors meet up? We are getting some phenomenal stuff going on there. And then let's just throw some of that yellow in here too, because we can. Want to see it? <gasps> I love it. So because this is not big enough to do the whole page, we're just going to go in here and pretend and it's going to kind of break up a little bit. Let's get some of that orange in there. I'm going to get crazy though. And I'm putting it in. Oh yes. Watch what's going to happen here into my white as well. Ready? Oh, I love it. And we're really going to do that up on this side. So we're losing, it's getting a little dry. So let's do this. Now, as soon as I add that water, what's gonna happen is it's gonna dilute it a little bit. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pick up some of that other pigment, but we're just gonna go with it like we meant to do it. Okay, now let's pick up some of that orange cause I'm too lazy to reload it. I'm not even looking at your comments right now. I don't know if you're loving this as much as I am or not. I don't even know, but I hope you are because I think it's fun. Ready? <gasps> yes. Okay. Let's watch. I'm going to show you right down here. So here we're going to go. I'm not going to put pink down here, but I am going to put some more of that vibrant yellow or orange. Watch. And now let's give her down here with the, this is way more than what I had planned, but I'm digging it. So I'm just going with it. So my stencil's dirty. So I'm getting new colors as I'm going along and I'm just going with it.
totally love it. Right? Very pretty. Now, you don't have much. I don't know if you guys can see it. But what we will do, like we always do, is I forgot my cup of water. So let's see if I can do the things. Oh, yeah. Just so that leaving that just chunk of white looks weird. So let's marry some of that in there. Okay, I should read your comments because I'm just making the arts. I don't even know what you guys are saying. Did you ask any questions? And I will show this closer. I have no water here, friends, so I'm doing the best I can. I will get up and get the water in a second. Don't get it all over your new shirt, Vicki. That's why we need the aprons, right, friends? Ugh, flicking it all over me. And I just had a shirt in my uh, laundry this week with uh, neon texture paste all over it. That's what I do, though. It's how I roll. Okay, I'm going to set this aside to dry, but do you get it? Oh, look it. This is why I should have left something around the edges. <gasps> Very pretty. Just set that aside. And I'm not going to go this hog wild on the second one. Okay, not this hog wild, but we're not going to waste what we have. So I'm going to grab another sheet of foundations paper right now. You ready for it? Oh, Vicki has a mess everywhere. It just expands as I start working. Yes. So we're going to do a couple different things here. Some things have to be done to see what we can get. Are you ready? So I can try to do it in one fail swoop. Let's do this. Watch what's going to happen here. We still have this dirty stencil too. I'm going to see if I can transfer some of this pigment. So let's try it. By the time I'm done, I might go through a whole pad of foundations today. But you'll see what I'm saying here. Can I pick any of this up? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Don't know. So we're going to see if I can't transfer some of that pretty color that's just sitting on that background onto a sheet before I actually go and clean it up. So brayer in the heck out of it to try to get it to transfer. Don't know if it's too dry. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see it. Wait till you see it. Magic's happening in front of your eyes. Can't wait. So what I'm doing is I want the moisture to pick up that. If I lift it too soon, you know what's going to happen. Well, maybe you don't. Let me tell you. If I lift this too soon with all of that moisture, it's going to all pull right into the center. So if I have some people with who are physicists or excelled in physics, I'm sure you could tell me whatever that um, physical property is that will suck all the water up, like it's going to suck it up. So if I let all the water kind of soak into this paper before I lift it, the patterns that... Oh, you ready? So the patterns that we're playing with will sit in the paper. So I love that. I can use that for background somewhere down the road. Totally okay with that. I will show it to you when it dries a bit. So picked it up rather than just wasting it all on a paper towel. So that was what my plan kind of was. There's things we could do. Um, like seriously that we could have done. We I will talk about that another day. That's what I said. We're, when we're done this gel plate printing class, we're going to do a total like mixed media, deep dive into mixed media um, class. I'm going to do an, another online class because I feel like that's where we need to go. Now with the Vicki Booten classes that we need to do some classes where we just sit and do this kind of stuff. 
but I have to get you guys there right where you're comfortable enough to just play. So see what I'm going to do here right now is I'm going to clean my stencil brush. And you could totally do this on paper too. If you did this on paper, you wouldn't be wasting any of this product. It would all transfer onto paper. You have to watch though when you're transferring it onto say just regular cardstock that because it's so wet, you could pill your paper. But freaking awesome things will happen when you do some of this stuff, okay? So now look, my stencil's clean enough where I don't have to get up and wash it. And my stencil brush is clean. So good enough. I'm just giving it a good rub so it's not on the edges inside. But look, stencil's clean-ish. And my stencil brush is clean. Okay. And we can't waste this. So let's just do one kissing technique quickly with this leftover paint. Okay. So guess what? One more sheet of foundations. Surface tension. It is a surface tension thing for sure, Gwen, that you know what I'm talking about. If we have something that's slightly non-porous and then something wet underneath, so it's not soaking in, then when you lift it, what you end up getting is a all the pigments mix where the um, surface tension pulls it to the center. If you leave it when it's wet, then mm -hmm. at least you're not going to get that. Like it's going to soak into the paper and pink will stay where it is. That peachy color will stay where it is. And then the yellow will. If you lift it too soon, you would get um, a new color when all three of them mix together. What kind of brush is that? I love the size of it. Are you talking about this? These are the Vicky Booten foundation brushes. Foundation brushes, stencil brushes. I apologize today, friends. Like, really? Brain is not normal. It is definitely suction, right? So here we go. Another sheet of foundations paper. And I'm going to pick up this because I don't want to waste that on the paper towel. So what I'm doing is pressing lightly on it to start so I don't push all the paints together right away. And we're going to let it just kind of sit in there. Because the more it soaks into the paper, the prettier the pattern's going to be. So now we can give her a little too. But I don't want to rub really hard until the moisture starts to absorb into the paper. And then I'll give her. We'll press hard. So that was our little cleanup before we start. So let me let it sit for a second. And I'm just going to grab my cup of water. And we're going to do one more application that is less instead of more. A little less. A little less meaning a stencil that does not have as much open space in here. Hi, Robin. How are you? And what I love for a lot of you, a lot of you follow me because you're scrapbookers and you love my paper products and scrapbook pages. I love that the longer you hang out with me, you get more comfortable with the idea of trying the mixed media because I really find that this is totally a fulfilling kind of pastime. And then you also will try the mini albums because a lot of you are like, I only do double page layouts and I don't want to try these other things. How many of you out there, that's where you started with me. You weren't going to try any of these things. And now you're like, totally love this. Because I love that, that you love it like I love it. You ready? Oh, look how pretty that is. And guess what you would have done? You would have just wiped it off and not done anything with it. I'm going to move it over slightly and pick up a little bit more of that. So I'm going to just slightly move it over so that I have a little bit more of that color. So we are going to put it right here. Pick it up. And now we have a background for another day. I love that you're making an appearance, Robin. Yeah, I love it. So see, there's a lot of you here, right? That you hung out because you're like, oh, Vicky's funny. I like to listen to her, but I, she's not going to make me do any of that stuff. I am not doing it. I don't want to do it. Um, I like to just 
do paper and glue. And now some of you probably don't even do as much scrapbooking anymore. You're like me, like, let's just make backgrounds because I just love, I don't know. It's, it really fills my heart and soul just playing with stuff. <gasps> pretty. And now leave it alone. But look how pretty that is. You would have put that on a paper towel that you would have thrown in the garbage. And now you have a ready-made background that you just made yourself. We can even just pick up some of those dots. Love it. Not as much. I should have stopped. But watch. Let's make it bleed a little bit. And I'll take some of it up if I can. I like that better. There. Now it's just a hint. And I'm totally digging that. So I just added some water into it. Okay, now I will be okay with wiping up. But look at, whoop, whoop. very pretty, right? Can make a card, whatever you wanna do with it. So look what we did with our cleanup today. These two, very fun, right? Very fun. You could have taken this one and done a second application with your water when you cleaned up your mat. But if you, I wish you guys could see it as well as I can. It is very, very pretty. Well, Val, and then you just fell in love with hanging out with me. And now you will never say never. Val will do the things. And I, ooh, look at, ah, oh, I should have done that. Look if I would have used that and impressed this on it. Would that not have been freaking awesome? So if you're not there yet, use that black background. I should have done that. Ding dong. That would have been even better. Okay. So now I'm just letting stuff dry all over. And we still have this one that I want to go in with less. Okay. So I have two options for the background. So we are going to put... I'll go in, in this one with the blue, the um, blueberry sour, the juicy pear, and the lemon sour. So we can have like two different color options, okay? Let's figure it out. I told you I'm gonna be here for a while tonight. I told you guys just because I feel like it and I don't feel like eating. So I'm just going to make some stuff. Okay. Oh, let's, how about this one? Let's go with this one. I can hear my um, washing machine <laughs> when the uh, load is not balanced. Do you know what I'm talking about? So it's going boop, 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 boop. So I don't know if I want to do all the colors. Let's figure it out. But we'll just go for it right now. I want to start with some green because I love it. Let's see what that looks like. So could you come through and texture paste? Yes, it just would take too long for it to dry for my purposes tonight. So um, I'm going to add a little bit of water to that so it is will flow a lot faster. You could totally use this as a full texture paste, and I think it would be stunningly beautiful, but then just be prepared that it's going to take longer to dry because it's thicker, right? So I'm going to go in now with some of the green color, and I'm going to layer it a little bit. So we're going to put this on very light, let it dry a bit, and then I can build the color by coming in again. So let's see. If it is still wet, I'll just pick pigment up. So what you have to do is be a little patient. It's too wet. It's not gonna layer just yet, but we're gonna get it to layer by letting that dry. So I think this stencil, I could reposition it. I'm gonna try, okay? <gasps> Love that! So what I'm gonna do, Give it a quick blast. And I'm gonna put the stencil back on and put another layer so we can really make it look like neon. I think it's pretty dry. 
And see, that stencil was easy enough to position again. And I'm going to put more on so it is a little bit more opaque. I had to let that bottom layer dry because if you don't, if you put wet paint on top of wet paint, all you end up doing is um, lifting it again, right? If you let that bottom layer dry a bit and then go in again, you can build some of the depth. So you're going to see some of it's going to be a little darker now. See? A little bit more neon. And there is no reason. I'm going to go in in different stencils on this one, I'm deciding. So I'll line up the circles just so, even though it is not a layerable pattern uh, or um, a buildable pattern, I can still go in here and I'm going to just do green across the top. And then I can come back in and put a different stencil for the next layer. And I want some of the green on the white as well. I'm going to do the same thing I did before and dry it a bit. So see, I can line that up very easily because circles are just awesome like that. And then let's build the depth of that green so it looks very neon-y. neon -y. it's a new word. On the white, I can just add a blast. Get it to come down here a little bit. And do one more very short layer up here. Oops, look what I just did. I hope I can position that. I moved it on my belly. I caught the paper with my belly. So now, Vicki, where was that? That is problematic when you catch the paper with your belly. I might just go with that because I don't think I can position it again. I didn't get enough pigment down. Maybe there. Did not get enough pigment down where I can tell which circle this was. Maybe this one. Oh, maybe. Maybe I'll be okay. Let's just go with it. Love it. One more little row right here. Just line one circle up. And, okay. So now I'm going to wash my stencil and I'm going to go in now with the other color in a totally different stencil. Okay. So let me just give that a rinse. Walk into the sink to give it a rinse. That's how you know how clean my room is. Did you hear that? I did not fall where I can't get up. I just fell a little bit. Not really, just tripped. Here we go. Let's wipe this off.
and clean this up. And now we have two options for backgrounds. And you can use whatever color family that you like. If you want to go with a warm family, you can. If you like the cool family, go for it. Clean up your stencil brush because you know my mister's almost uh, out of water. It's much easier to clean while it's wet than if you left it to dry and then you have to put a lot of elbow grease and maybe cleaner on your stencil brush. I am of the um, school of clean it right away and then you don't have to come back and revisit it later. Okay, good. We're good. So now we're going to layer a different stencil on top. Um, what do you call the gold paper you are using to put your paints on? This is a craft mat. It is from Ranger and it is a non-porous surface that you can use as a palette. So I love it. It is a perfect tool and it's great for techniques. I use this one or the white ones from American Crafts, but it is called a craft mat from Ranger. I will put links at the end so that if you're gonna buy one and you use one of my um, links, then um, it helps me to be bringing this content. So I will put my affiliate links up later. I'll add the craft mat. So um, only to scrapbook.com and a cherry on top and Simon says stamps. So if you're gonna shop somewhere else, then you don't need them. But if you're gonna look at one of those places then it just helps me a little bit, right? Love this. So gonna go in now with one more stencil and I think I'm only going to put the blue. I'm not going to go in the yellow with this one. I'm just going to put some blue down, but look at friends. Isn't that fun? So it is hard. It doesn't translate really, really well on the camera, but, and then I still think I have the white ones too on um, the white one. See, Marlene has it. I sell those. I think they're up on my website. There, there is craft mats on vickybooten.com too. So if you were going to put an order in um, and you don't see it on there, let me know because I know I do have some. I know I do have some. Okay, let's find. Now I want to go in with something smaller, smaller pattern. So it might be one of my stencils and it might not. We could go back in with that now. Yes, I'm going to totally do this one. So, but I want to use the, the positive of it. You ready? So this is what I'm going to do. I need a piece of scrap paper. Let's just use this. Do I? No, I love this. I don't want to use this. I'll just use this. I have a piece of scrap card stuck. So I am putting this on. There are actually words in this that, um, you might be able to find and you might not, but there's like, you can see love right there. This is all my handwriting and I just kind of wrote w big words and doodled some hearts. Like there's okay is right there, okay. So I know that there's a positive and a negative. I'm going to put this on the back side of the stencil. So any of those words will translate on to my artwork. So I'm going to pull this medium like I'm stenciling because I actually want whatever's left on the stencil to go onto my artwork. So I am putting this all on here and I want a good layer of medium left on top of the stencil. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on here like this and we're gonna stamp with the stencil. So I'm not putting it on the outer edge. I want it just on some of the words. So I don't care if it goes on to the black on the background. I want more of it on the actual stencil. Okay. So this I can use for something later. But now we are going to mist this. I don't want it all over my background, so I'll mist on my paper towel. And now I'm gonna stamp with the stencil onto this page. And it's gonna make a little bit of a mess and I'm okay with that. So let's put that down. 
grab a paper towel so it absorbs the leftover moisture. And we're going to kiss that pattern down. Okay. Do do. And you see why I put paper towel on? Because if you would have just went over that with your hand, you would make a mess. So let's see what we're going to get. Is it going to be cool? Is it going to be a hot mess? Don't know. Going to go with it. I think it's going to be cool. I love it. And I'm going to do one more impression of this. So I'm putting some more water on here. Not much. Right here. And whatever pigments left on there, we're okay with. Oh, yes. And a little kiss of it down at the bottom, just so it doesn't just kind of end. Oh, I love it. I might go crazy. I'm going to put a little bit more here. Just whatever's left. Oh, yes, I love it. Pick some of that moisture out of it. And let's clean the stencil. I am done with paint for right now, so I'm washing my hands off. And let's make the next step. I love this so much, I can't even contain my excitement. Seriously, freaking love this. So let me dry it because you will get the full effect when the moisture is gone. So I will give you a close up of this and watch it kind of watermarked, I think, maybe a little bit in the green. I'm telling you friends when I come out with these mediums they're different like the the texture paste what I love is really like a heavy body acrylic so um, and you know with anything that is American crafts it's one and done they are not gonna bring these texture paste back out when they are sold they're gone so it's like if you see the original set you're gonna want it if you see the new fluorescence, you're going to want it because when they're, it's not like Ranger Project. Hi, honey. Where, um, the product where it stays there when it's gone, it's gone. And you can't even see. I'm going to hold this up now. So I'm hoping that. Are you ready? Can you see that? So it is very, the lights make it very reflective, but. Let's see, I gotta get that camera to start reading it. Just let me put it down. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Cause you see it got all blown out, right? Can you see that? Sorry friends, the neon is very hard for the camera to read. So, um, but it is very, very pretty. Watch, I'm gonna flick cameras, let's see. Just a second, and you get to see my scariness. Just look for a minute. Can you see it? Better on here? It's very, very pretty. So I'm hoping you guys can see that. Um, I'll flip back down. But it is um, very pretty. I really am digging this and it's unfortunate the camera isn't picking up the detail, but it is, there is like a little halo effect of that stencil where the pigment was only on the outer edges. So all of the words and pattern looks just outlined 
and then where you have full pattern where when we originally stamped it and then just kind of like a ghost effect. It is very, very pretty. I, I have a little bit of makeup on though today, Valerie. So um, I laugh too, cause I don't want to scare you with my side view and all of the craziness that's going on behind me. But um, I actually went and put a little makeup on, um, but I am scary without the makeup on and it's okay. I can handle it. So look at hot, hot again i don't know if the camera is reading this as well as it should but it is very pretty on there and then let's see if i hold it here i'm hoping you guys can see it so you have that option or this option and i'm totally digging it um this is kind of out there for me right it's a little funky and um a little bit of a messier technique and I'm really loving it and you're gonna see now for the next step um, I think gold on here will be really pretty but we have two options so tell me what you think so what did we make just today background wise like this one needs to go through my I love this freaking one I love it so much I think that this is gonna be a continuation for next week Next week, continuation is what do we do with the scraps? So that gives you enough time today to play around. And then these three pages, we are going to build on next Friday. Cause it is, it just, we just move on from one to the next to the next, right? So we're gonna do something really fun with this next week. So whatever versions that you have of this, keep it because I'm going to do something really fun next Friday. But for today, let's decide which one are we going to do. And here's my idea and tell me what your thoughts are. So we could put texture layer of gold and then just make the bugs black and white or bugs black and white. Or I can do a quick watercolor wash of gold and stamp my bugs on it, which is kind of how I'm leaning. I think those bugs in gold would, oh, I have an idea. Switching it up, friends. Guess what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna stamp a bunch of bugs in and cover them in gold um, embossing powder. Doing it, get ready for it. So I know for some of you that grabbed your stuff already, you're like, awesome, Vicki, you're just throwing a wrench in it. I'm, I'm totally throwing a wrench in it. I'm getting a piece of foundations paper and I'm going to get some embossing ink. Here we go, embossing ink and gold embossing powder. We're gonna make gold freaking bugs. I'm excited. Okay, let's just hope my gold embossing powder is not buried somewhere. Nope, it's not. I don't think. Where are you? Where are you? Because I cleaned up and God only knows where Vicky put anything. So give me a second. I know it's in my dream box. Gold embossing powder. Where are you? Oh, Vicki. You're a hot mess express. Okay, guess what though? I know for a fact I just bought a whole bunch to put on my website. So if I don't find it, I'll just go grab a new one. I'm coming, just a second. Just a second. So friends, I bought some stuff <laughs> to add to my website because it's one of those things I love. And it happens to be Rangers Gold 
embossing powder. So why not use this, right? So I'm gonna use gold embossing powder with the Distress Embossing ink. And we're gonna stamp a whole bunch of gold bugs. And this is totally gonna be out of the comfort zone for some of you, but do it, do the things. Gold bugs are gonna be freaking awesome. Are you ready? So if you're new, you could totally do them on vellum. Is it Sabin? Is that how I say that? Is Sabin? Yes, like gold antique jewelry. I love it, Karen. So let's do it. It's going to be fun. My hubby started singing to me what he wanted to say because you do it. Jerry Ann, I love it. What did he say? Did he say, hon, can we have steak for supper? Is that what he said? Or, hon, do you know where my clean underwear are? I do sing the things, especially when I'm excited. So let's do it. So I will be adding this to my website eventually. I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Ranger because you know, the only thing that I add on vickybooten.com is stuff that I use. So it will never be like a store where you just need the basics because there are lots of great scrapbook stores for you to shop at. Mine is more like, hey, I'm ordering a kit and I want gold embossing powder. And I know Vicky uses it all the time. It's that kind of dealio, right? So let's see the magic that's going to happen. Let's emboss one of these suckers. And I think it's going to be beautiful. So you saw I have a scrap piece of paper, right? Let's do this too. Where are you, powder tool? Of course, everything when I need it, I don't never know where it is, right? but I would like to take the static off the background of my paper. So I'm gonna do this quick, okay? So my powder tool, and let's put some of that on there and see if it helps with taking the static off. It smells good, okay? Let's go. I think it's gonna be good. I'm very excited. So you need embossing ink. So if you're new and you're like, I have no clue what she's doing right now. Embossing powder are like really fine little flecks of plastic. So when I take this and I stamp with this clear sticky ink and pour the powder on it and then apply heat, all of those little pieces of plastic are going to um, melt and form this beautiful metallic raised um, image with the stamp. So can I tell you something? Early days when I first started all of this, and we'll see how wet my ink pad is because I might be better off pressing into it instead of pressing it down, but we'll see. So I'm going to stamp this beautiful little bug. I'm going to fold my paper in half so when I put it down, I can put it back into the container easily. And we're gonna put some embossing powder on it and heat it. Now, I don't have my embossing gun, I'm just using my regular heat gun. But in a perfect world, I'd have my White Ranger. I think I went a little heavy on that one, but we'll see. Okay, we'll see. See, so look, it looks matte. Watch what will happen. Clean up so you don't make a mess. Because if you're like me, I'll dump that whole thing on the floor. So now I can put it all back in. And I'm good to go. I rub my oils all over. It's okay, Don. I'm doing the best I can. Remember, I am not a stamping queen. I'll do the next. I'll put it down and not rub oil all over for the next one. But I still think it's going to be pretty. <laughs> Dawn is, oh my goodness, do you see the magic happening? So yes, you're supposed to put the powder down to, to prevent the stuff from sticking. And then I rubbed my hand all over it and totally defeated the purpose. So we'll do another one where I won't rub my hand on it. But it still turned out so pretty. Look at lid on. It makes you love this bug, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Yes. I love it.
I love you. Looks like it still worked here. So look at, because I pretend to know what I'm doing. You put this down. Oh yeah. Put my powder down. Now we'll do this. Pretend I didn't do all of the other stuff that I just did. And I'm just going to lightly kiss my ink. I'm going to stamp another one and let's see if it's even better than the first one without rubbing my hands on there and doing all the things I'm not supposed to. I'm a terrible student, aren't I? Here, let's do it. Is that even better? I don't know. We'll see. I'm glad it worked out though, Don, because I would have looked like even a bigger dummy if I would have messed it all up. So I bounced my stamp on here. I'm just going to pick that up. Stencil, my paintbrush is wet, so just doing the best I can. Okay. I'm not cleaning up because I'm going to use it again. And let's do another one. Oh, I love the magic when that happens. These are going to be very fun, friends. one turned out even better. Do you love them? Can you see the metallic in it? There. <gasps> Look at that. Gold bugs. I freaking love them. What are you guys, are you laughing at me? I'm going to have to do this. Tim's Sea Life stamps. Yes, I love it. I uh, can't wait to try the octopus. I know. I have to put an order in of some new stamps. I want um, that new floral. So I love it. I love the bugs too. I'm just going to put some more. So I'm going to make a couple of these. So this is all I'm doing for a little while. So if um, you need to go make supper or something. I'm going to be at this for a bit because I told you today was just really for me all about just making. Um, I have no agenda for tonight, so I'm just going to sit here and make and then get ready for my class tomorrow. And I will go on, like I said, on the gel plate page and I will also, oh, I love it so much. Just for fun, let's stamp a butterfly and see what it looks like. I do this guy, but I need a stamp block. You're not a big fan, you're doing leaves. Do whatever makes you happy, right? I love them. But I would be totally the one who would buy uh, bug earrings. I'd wear them. You know, do whatever makes you happy. That's the awesomeness of um, your ability to buy all different patterns of stamps and then do and buy the one that works for you, right? So I'm going to stamp this beautiful butterfly and make it metallic because then I can also make a stamp or a card later because remember, I'm a card maker now. So I'm going to see, oh my goodness, this is going to be so pretty. Let me put that away. Okay, let's try it. Let's try this beautiful butterfly. So what are you guys making out there? Is anybody crafting today? Are you just hanging out? Is it more of a, like, I feel like drinking wine on Saturday? Or are you getting ready for bed in your part of the world? But I have not had, all I've been doing is packing orders and I haven't had a lot of time to craft. And 
I was missing it. This butterfly is beautiful. Look at that. Ready? <gasps> Look how pretty. Can you see? Oh, I love it. You're editing photos and listening to you. I love it. It's very good, Natalie. You take some great uh, photos. And yes, Dawn, your planting and garden garden is unparalleled. Head, hanging, finish my Starbucks, and then wine. I need a Starbucks. I would love that so much. If one of you was close and you dropped a Starbucks off on my front porch, I would be like forever indebted and grateful. Maybe I could talk my husband into it. But you see, the problem is, is I usually order it off my phone and then he can go and pick it up. But I don't know if he could manage just going and ordering me something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does anybody have one of these um, significant others? Uh, my husband will, when we go to Starbucks or anywhere that I have to order on the mic, he won't order. I have to yell over him. He will not place the order at the drive-thru. Isn't that crazy? I'm always like, just order it. it I feel like a dork when we get to the window and they're going to know I had to yell over your shoulder because you couldn't order my order. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday. Did you get to do anything special for your birthday? I hope so. I hope you're not cooking. Because I don't think anybody should have to cook on their birthday unless they like to cook. You, same, you're... Oh, my goodness. It always drives me crazy. I'm like, just order the freaking McNuggets for the kids. Why do I have to yell over your shoulder? So um, that happened the other day at Starbucks. I actually made him say, can you just say mobile order for Vicky, please? You don't have to order anything. Just say mobile order for Vicky. And he did. He did, right? I do the ordering for hubby and myself at Starbucks also. And I get Starbucks because that can be a little intimidating because especially I don't know how you guys order your things. Like I don't go in there and just say, can I have a grand? Like right off, the sizes freak them out, right? Grande, Trenta, um, right off. They're like, what the heck is that? Why can't I just say large or, or small? So that throws them off. And then if you say, you know, can I have a... Uh, Trenta, uh, iced coffee with light ice and um, no base and a dash of heavy whipping cream. He's already like, right? His head hurts. So I guess um, I get it for Starbucks because that can be like, they're not just saying can I have a large double double, right? It can be a little uh, intimidating. So maybe I'll give him a break on that one. Starbucks is not easy for ordering. Tomorrow is your birthday. Happy birthday, friends. Your husband won't answer the phone, Marlene. We get that here, too. I'm like, so I had to jump off of the toilet to answer the phone? You couldn't get the phone? It's the same with answering the door and everything. I Maybe it is a guy thing. Like, I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the shower. I have to run out of the shower to answer the phone. Just answer the phone. Nobody's going to get you. Uh, got your niece's grad gown pictures from the photographer. I love that. Yes, I have to do. Oh, I just remembered. We have to order grad pictures. I took grad pictures and um, I didn't have to, or I haven't sent them to any of the families I did that for. And I have to do that. Grande blonde, uh, sugar-free vanilla latte iced. Oh, I love that. I need to try that. That sounds really yummy. Yes, pretty useless that way, both my hubby and son. Yeah, very funny. So I'm not alone. It's a guy thing, I guess. So I'm loving these friends. I'm going to do one more. But look at the butterfly. And we're going to maybe paint on that. I think it'd be fun. So I'll do one more bug. And then I'm going to fussy cut my bugs. So I don't know if um, that I don't think will be fun to sit and watch. So maybe I'll fussy cut one to show you the direction we're going and then tell me what you want me to do. Because if you're having fun and just hanging out, I can continue on or I can just show you the finish when I'm done. Um, but, right? Uh, oh, are there dies? Maybe I have dies for this. Is there anyone out there who has a stamp set? Is there a die 
for this stamp set because I might have ordered it and I just don't realize I have it. That's what this set has a die. I don't know. Does it? It should. I would hope that it does because I would really rather just use the die cut. But I don't remember. And I know um, I'll have to look. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I ordered and I just threw in a box. Anybody else like that? <laughs> like, I don't even know if I have it. Yeah, if I want to get out of cooking. I'm not cooking tonight. Riley, um, Val, you weren't here, I don't think. Riley, I think why I wasn't feeling well. I think we probably have a little bit of a flu bug. And he is sick, so I don't know what he'd eat. And then my husband doesn't really like food anyway, so he'd be happy with a peanut butter sandwich and not care. And Devin's working. So, and I don't want food today either, right? Those legs will be a killer to fussy cut. I agree. Did anybody say there are no dyes with this one? Oh, my goodness. Mr. Holtz, I need a dye for this. I would buy them. Butterflies will be super easy. And this is foundations paper, too, so it will not be the um, easiest thing to cut out because the paper is heavy. But I love them. I love my gold bugs. So I am going to just keep working, I guess, right? Fend for yourself nights at our house. Yeah. Swatching your new set of colored pencils. I love it. I love swatching. It is my favorite thing to do. There are matching dyes. So let me look. You can yell at me in all caps. I can handle it. Okay, let's look at bins of stuff that Vicki has laying around. I've got to watch though, because I can't show you what's on top of this bin because it's the next collection stencils. So I took them out. Hopefully there's nothing else that you're not supposed to see in here. Uh, do I have dyes in this bin of things that I ordered? Look at all these. Is there a dye in there? Look at, <laughs> I'm telling you. There, let's see if in the stack, if there is a die of the things that I bought. Woo! I'm not allowed to see that. Sorry, I just screamed in your ear. I thought I bought the dies, right? I thought they were in this stack. So I'm, I have one more place I can look. So give me a minute. Sorry, I just showed you something you weren't allowed to see. I showed you something you weren't allowed to see. <laughs> it happened. Okay, I'm looking in one more spot. Uh, I know I ordered them. If they exist, I know I ordered them. But I don't know where they are. So it will be fussy cutting friends because if they exist I know I ordered them do they exist you have uh, I have them set of 14 those bugs were just holding sit is awesome so I don't know but I'm sad because I don't want to fussy cut them I would really rather throw them on there but um, I don't know where it is if I bought it. So guess what? Because this is live TV. I'll just cut some out. There are dies for, oh, but not for this set. I don't know. Yeah, I would think I would have bought them because this is probably one of my favorite sets of um, Tim stamps. I do love them. I love that they're realistic and it looks like, well, they aren't going to be too bad because you know, I am not like a surgeon when it comes to fussy cutting. I just need it to have an idea of the shape and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to cut at least one out so you guys can see what this is going to look like on that background because I think that I could totally use color study with this layout and it will be awesome. So let's just go with it. So if there is a die set, if you guys do see it, 
let me know because I'm going to order it. No dice for this set. Just check the catalog. Okay. So I would have been looking for a long time. And you know what I'm like, Natalie? I wouldn't have even went and checked online. I would have just kept looking for it. <laughs> sure that I had it. I'm sure that I have that one. And you'd be like, well, you'd be the only one because Tim never made one. But yes, I do love the new color. I saw somebody just said the new color of distress is beautiful. It is not at all what I had guessed or expected, but I still absolutely love it. And that's what I had said to Tim. I don't care. I just, well, I was watching his video, his life is like, Tim, dude, it wouldn't matter what you put out there because I would buy it. It wouldn't matter what color it was. I would love it. I would like some more pinks, oranges, and yellows. But I can use what I have and make my own colors just by mixing them with a little water until a new one comes out. I'll be patiently waiting for my Barbie hot pink. But pinks are hard. If you ever shop for um, inks or for paints that you will find there are not a lot of pinks. Like there is opera pink and... Um, like a couple of pinks, but a pink is a hard color. It must be a very difficult pigment to um, source and find because I find that even when I'm searching for paint, I can never find that hot pink that I want. It's always like lighter pinks. Oh, you guys are finding an item number for this one. Is it for this stamp set? It goes with the specimen stamp set? Or does it go for one of the different, because he has a couple different bug sets, right? You saw I had one die for um, the newer bugs, but they're not this realistic look. They're more uh, cartoony pattern. But yes, a die would be magical right about now last leg is not easy to cut out. Somebody is coming towards me. Unless it's my husband just going to play with his golf clubs or something again. I heard them. And then they tricked me. They didn't come into the room. Okay, let's see. There's one. Not bad, eh? So, yes, that she commented that you can watch it on um, YouTube and on Facebook, right? Yes, I do put it on the two so that people can watch it. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. So I know for some of you aren't going to dig the bugs, right? Because you're going to be like, oh, I don't like that idea. But I'm thinking that I will do a couple of them, and then I could punch a circle out and it will just be an element. Just an element, right? Distress embossing ink is similar to Versamark. Yes. The only reason that, right, I'm using that one is because I had ordered from Ranger and I just ordered that. And I like the size of it so when I store my inks, it can go right in with my Distress inks. But you will find that there are tons of brands of uh, embossing ink. Like every stamp company who sells inks will have an embossing ink. There are lots of different brands. I really like this gold embossing powder from uh, Ranger. It is very pretty and a true gold. It's a brighter gold too, not an antique gold. And I like that. So when you're done, you could put a little bit of pigment in these. If you don't want them to just be white and gold, you could certainly make them, um, color them to have some pigment. Whatever you want to do. It would be, if you really want to get crazy, you could put something that looks like a pin on them. Oh my goodness, too. You know the other thing that I noticed when Tim was doing his live today, and I love Paula Cheney. She's my friend. I love her. I love the art she makes. It is very beautiful to look at. And she um, 
teaches wonderful classes. And she had these little, tiny little pins, uh, like binder clips, like little ones that are part of the ideology uh, line. And I need to find those. That's the other thing. And the other thing I've decided I want to buy is a deco, his deco trimmer. So uh, that those are two things I'm going to put orders in for. I want a deco trimmer because I love that kind of really rough deco edge. And then I would like to get those tiny little clips because they are amaze balls. They're tiny and they would work on scrapbook pages um, and mini books. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Um, are great for young boy pages. Definitely. Yeah. If that's the way you scrapbook, you totally could use this. You're not good at fussy cutting. It's not for everybody. I know. And this one is a little bit trickier, but I find it very relaxing. Like this doesn't bother me. My hand will get tired. Uh, but can I tell you something else? It's your scissors too. You do not try to cut it with like big scissors. You need to have little detail scissors, like little thinner ones. And even better than these, I love my little black cutter bees. I had cutter bees up on my website and I thought they were the black ones. And I have to find out from American Crafts if they still carry the ones with the black Teflon coating, because those are good freaking scissors, the cutter bees. They're so good. I remember dropping them in my, on, on my um, thigh and uh, they stabbed me. They're so sharp. When I dropped it, I dropped it and they stuck out of my, th my thigh. <laughs> Clips, not lips. I love it. So what are the little clips called? I need a link for them because I'm going to order them. I'm going to order a lot of them. I might even add those to my store because um, I really love them. Like really, really, really love them. So yeah, they, they were, when I saw them on there, I'm like, oh, I love that. And here's the other thing when I watch uh, Tim's Makers make. Um, it might not be my style at all, but oh my goodness, they're brilliant. His makers are absolutely brilliant with the way they manipulate and use his products. It just makes me look at everything in a different light. And I love that. Or, ooh, I never thought of using it that way. So it is definitely worthwhile for you guys to check out Tim Holtz team of makers. And don't only go to the ones you think are your favorites because their style is similar to what you do. Make sure you check out the ones um, that maybe the style is the polar opposite of what you would normally do. I'm going to love this page when it's done. I watched you the other day with Cricut. Could you use your new Cricut to cut these out, scan and cut them? I think I can, April. Um, that's what I was talking about with my friend Janice. And I'm like, I didn't even realize that that is one of the options. So I am going to take a deep dive into um, figuring out how to use that cricket because I think you can do like, like a scan and cut kind of idea. So does anybody have the new cricket, the maker three, I think it is right. Um, can I do that with it? Cause I have to learn, right? I'm a silhouette user and I don't even do that well. So I'm very excited to figure out how to use uh, the maker three. I agree, Don, right? Yes. Their style is polar opposite of mine, but I always get great ideas from them. Yes. Like, so you know that I am more rainbows and butterflies. I love the look of vintage, but when I use Tim's ideology, I vicify it. I don't do traditional vintage. I um, don't really ever use brown ink. It's not my vibe, but let me tell you, I still will like and um, follow and watch all the things that those real true vintage scrapbookers are doing because they just give me new ideas on how to use the products. So like I say, um, make sure you don't always follow on Instagram and YouTube people who do things in exactly your style. If somebody is really good at teaching or thinking outside of the box, um, you can get great inspiration from uh, their le the lessons that they're teaching, right? So you can print and cut out on Cricut. Uh, I make sticker sheets that way. 
but not print and cut out. Like I'm thinking, could I put this page through and will it read it and cut it out? Um, Cause that's what I'm curious about. Does it do like a brother scan and cut? Will it read it and cut them out? You would need to cut them first, then cut and emboss. Really? How, but how would I cut them first if it's not a um, cut file? I have to look. Somebody said that they thought that the new one would would fussy cut. So I'm curious because I know a brother scan and cut will totally do that. And I know that you can use um, Silhouette's uh, pick scan mat. So I want to know if that new Cricut will do something that is similar to like a uh, brother scan and cut. Because that would be kind of awesome, wouldn't it? Because not everything I do would be a cut file, right? So I would want it, like, if I make my own art, would it do it for me? I'm curious if anybody knows that. Yeah, Scan and Cut is the best for that. That's That'll be the next machine I'll buy. I'll buy a Brother Scan and Cut. I will have all of them. And I will keep and use all of them. But I know that people love the Brother Scan and Cut just for that purpose, right? That it will fussy cut anything. And I know that that pick whatever scan mat works sometimes and doesn't work other times. So I don't know um, if it would work for that. But I know some people will take like, so when we fussy cut paper, like I'll say, cut all the flowers out of this paper that some of you can put it on one of your die cutting machines and it will cut everything out. And I think that is magical. And that I think is worth every penny <laughs> when you invest in it, right? Need to bring it into design space and then make an SVG out of it. Hmm. See, I'll have to figure out. I don't know how to do the things yet. Like I know we only kind of covered a little bit when we did that. Vicky's got a cricket. Now what? Vicky's got to learn a lot more. So I'm going to at least cut this last one and see where we're at. And I'm going to cut that butterfly out too, because I want to see that one. We're going to make a card out of that butterfly for sure. For sure, for sure. But I am digging this. And then I just bought myself um, a couple packs of new gold thickers. Here's the one thing that you used to be able, like American Crafts would make tons of thickers and you would have tons of thicker options. But I have found now that um, it's not the case. You do not have the thicker options you used to. Um, I think that they discontinued a lot of them. You have to use print printer scanner, then import it as a, a PNG or SVG file. The black background with a green or orange purple would be good for Halloween too. Yeah, that'd be fun. You know I'm not a very literal scrapbooker though. You guys have probably, like, there will be nothing to do with bugs on this page. I will just use it as a pretty background with any photo. It's just kind of how I roll. So those are the gold on. And then look at the gold, too, on the um, hot one. I love it. But it's going to happen on this page because there's not as much going on. And I'm really digging that. Let's cut out the butterfly. When I first saw the post, I thought it said Vicky's got a haircut. <laughs> that happens too. Sometimes I get a haircut too. But that's funny. So let's see. I'm just going to keep playing. It. Like I said, my 12 hour Facebook Live. Um, playing for a little bit because then I still have to go and post on the gel plate class so that everybody knows um, what they need for Monday. When we're talking about acrylic paint though, friends, like I said in a post that I posted, you just wanna make sure it's not the cheapest paint. Like dollar store paint isn't your friend. You need something that has some a decent amount of opacity, meaning um, like to be opaque is more um, solid and translucent, you can see through. It's not that you wouldn't use um, translucent paints on a gel plate when you're printmaking, but to start, I really think you just want to have some decent um, acrylics. So I had posted a little live video showing you the paints that I have. I, I buy all acrylic paint. 
I have all of Tim's distress paints. I have tons of different golden paints. I have tons of Liquitex. I have my old paints that were actually really good paints with American Crafts. If you have some of those, you can use it. You definitely want your gold glaze if you have it. Um, we won't use it right away, but you're going to love that on the gel plate. It prints beautifully. I'm going to try these texture paste on the gel plate. I'll try lots of different mediums. And then what's nice is even if you don't have them, when we do the class, um, if you love the result I got, then that is nice because before you invest, you can watch me take it for a test drive and decide if it's something that you want or that you would use. I don't like to give you a huge, um, hey, you have to have this to participate in the class kind of list because I find that that can be um, a little daunting and scare people away, especially if they're new to a technique or new to trying um, a crafting or art medium that it can be a little daunting when you see huge supply lists. So I don't, I try not to do that, but I will be sharing and using lots of different things. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. <gasps> so, right, if you aren't into bugs, you could do a couple of butterflies up this page and it would be beautiful, right? Let's take something rounded so I don't bend the paper. Right? And you could have some butterflies on your page if you don't want to do gold bugs. Right? Totally could do that up your page. So you could have a butterfly there and one here and another one there. Very pretty. Right? So I like my three bugs. I think that's what I'm going to use. A version of this and I'm going to, I think I'm going to now punch some circles. I'm going to do some kind of title up here and then I can put my photos here. That's going to be the kind of layout of this. And I am just going to kind of wing it right? What weight copy paper do we need? Robin, I went out and I went to Walmart because I didn't have time to go into the, um, the, uh, what do you call that? The stores that will have that kind of thing. I just office on the office store. Um, and I just bought like a better quality printer paper, right? So not the cheapest printer paper, a better quality one, just so I can do a little bit more with prints when they're done. Um, you use altered rose gold embossing powder on the butterflies and you love them. I bet they're gorgeous, right? I have staples like, yeah, that kind of idea. Office supply store. That's what I was trying to say. Um, I'll show you the package I have. I'm going to grab it. Somewhere. I went on Amazon and I bought a whole bunch of um, parchment paper and deli paper and craft. Um, I moved it all, friends, and now I don't know where I put it. Here it is. It's just hidden. No, it's not. Here it is. So I went to Walmart and I bought this. So I just bought this premium printer paper. Oop, there you go. Can you see that? That kind of idea. Okay. So now let's look. Oh, is Patty still here? I'm going to pull out her favorite paper. <gasps> look it. Watch. So my idea now is I don't want these just floating up the page. So I'm going to see if this color will work. Patty's still here. This is her favorite pattern paper. So I'm going to punch out a couple of green circles. And 
I'm going to get one more bigger punch because I'm going to put that as the center, but then I want a little bit bigger circle in a different color. Ovals would be great too. Yes. Wouldn't that be fun? Oval. Let's see. Maybe I have oval dies. Maybe. Why not? Let's just get crazy up in here today. So I'm wheeling out my cart that has some of my stuff in it. Here's the whole thing. All Vicky does is work, right? Um, if you've met me or known me for a while, you know that I work nonstop all the time. So I have this. Yes. Yes. I want a scalloped oval too. See, this is when I wish I was a card maker because I would have all of those things. But whatever. I could, whatever. We'll just go with that. But look at, totally loving that. Who said that? Who said, oh, Melody. Look at what you just did, Melody. So now I'm going to get my die machine out, die cutting machine out. And let's decide. We're going to do two. Oh, I don't know, though, Melody. Maybe we're going to do this, but maybe I won't do the ovals and I'll tell you why. I don't know if I'm going to like how much space it takes up, but we'll see. We'll try it, right? Let's just tr try it. Ah, oh, I like it. We're doing it. We're doing it. So, oh my goodness, I love this. So now I need to find two colors that I want to do these in. And I will go grab one of my die cutting machines because Melody gave me a better idea. Get your cricket out. Too much work. Manual sometimes is just easier, especially when I'm doing these, right? When it's live, it makes it very hard sometimes. But look at I can do this quickly. This is organized enough. I know where one of the die cut machines are. I only have, oh, you know what I bought and haven't even plugged in yet? Is um, a new electric one. What is it? A Gemini. <laughs> I bought the Gemini, but guess where it's sitting? In the box. I haven't even pulled it out yet. So I could get my Gemini out and it could run it through, but I haven't even taken it out of the box. I don't even know what it does. So I'm going to go on the green. I like that green. Did you like that green, Patty? If you have oval punches, you could use that. You can use whatever you have, right? Whatever you have. So let's find, oh, Vicki's got to clean up a little bit because I'm going to start to twitch in a minute. There's too much of a mess here. And I'm not going to lie, it is not the kind of crafter I am. I find, because I did a little bit of a cleanup in my room this week, it's just better for my brain all around. Is anybody else like that? I do much better when um, my space is organized, when things are where they're supposed to be so I can just walk around and find it. But I have been working so, so much that there's no focus in anything and I need to find that focus. I am very excited for this gel plate um, four week workshop because guess what? I'm going to get to create a minimum of twice a week. And that makes me very excited. So for all you guys that signed up, thank you. You're going to be saving my sanity. I've tried to put this brayer away four times and it keeps falling out. Okay. So let's just make some space for a minute and that will make me not lose my brains because that's going to happen. I'm going to lose my brains in a minute. Okay, better. Better. Look at how many of you are still sticking around. This is uh, crazy, right? Vicki was only going to be on here for a little bit tonight. And that is not what ended up happening. So I'm going to cut this piece so it will fit. So on here. Where did I just put the other page? The other piece? Oh, it's there. No, it's not. What'd you do with it, Vicki? There it is. Dingbat. I want some of that funkiness in there. So I'm going to cut the first one right there. Do I have enough? 
I don't know if that cut or not. Yeah, I think it did. I think it did. Let's look. look. I put it right on top of my bugs. <gasps> I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Okay, so let me cut three of those out. And then we will figure out what I'm completely chaotic crafter stuff everywhere. But every now and then I have a blitz where you clean up. I can't it, you know, and we all, all of us work like there's no judgment. I would never walk in your house. And if you're like, you like to craft with stuff all over. I have friends that throw things on the floor while they're working. Um, I, it's just, I find I function way better when, um, it's organized. I don't know. I think I am a little bit OCD. I do. I'm a, I am. Let's not lie. I know for a fact I am. Normally, you know, I would stop making because like we've been on for a long time, but now I can't, I'm going to continue even if I'm not doing this live. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to keep going. If it's not your thing or you're done for the night or the day, thanks for coming but I'm going to stay and keep making. I wish I had, I'll just stick with what I was doing and just do that one. But I wanted something a little bit more acidy side of the green, but it's all good. I hope I can still get this pattern paper. This one is, uh, let me, when I flip it around, I'll tell you what it's called, but I absolutely love this. And some of the color study ones are gone, never to be had again. This one is called Journal, and it is one of my favorites. Just this side of this paper, I could wallpaper a whole room in it. I love it. My scrap space is in my bedroom, so I throw um, on my bed when I'm creating. That's a great idea, right? Just throw it right behind you or beside you, wherever you are. But I love this. Okay. So we're not done because I'm going to do the bigger oval and I'll, I'll put these, all of these, if you're going to like, you're like, I love that die set and you're going to go place an order on scrapbook.com. I will add my affiliate links because if you're going to order anyway, I would love if you click on my links. Well, any of my links you can click on and it'll still work um, because it always helps. Every little bit helps, right? Okay. What is our contrasting color going to be? Let's look. I have to decide. You know, I have no photos printed or anything for this, but that will come. And they're going to be going up the side, something like this. This would, like some of you were saying, a great um, Halloween layout. And it would, if you are very um, literal in your crafting, then this would be beautiful for Halloween. For me, it's just an element. So now I will decide, because then you could totally do purple, like purple and green would be beautiful. So let's decide. I think, what color do I want to use? Ooh, turquoise could be fun, but it needs to contrast that blue a little bit. Oh, I might, I might get crazy. Are you ready? Maybe some wild and crazy and do hot pink. Let's look. Ooh, this could be fun. Here we go. I'm going to show you. Too much pattern. I like the color, though, I have to say. I will decide. In a second, when something pops out. I don't have all the papers here. I just have a couple. <laughs> so I'm just going with, because I'd have to go look. And I had no intention. You know, this is just all just kind of coming together. I don't even know what paper this is. It's a simple stories. Charmed life. Ooh, I kind of like it. Look it. But a stripe and a stripe. What do we think? Is that all right? Or I could do it. Yeah, let's try it. I'll test one. Let's cut one out. And decide if it's got enough contrast or if I'm going to go kind of subtle on it. We'll look at it. I like the hot pink, right? So it might still happen. 
it might still happen. We'll cut both out. How about that? And see. Oh, look. It wants to be on here, so it's ready. So we can use dots and marks. I like it. I kind of am with you. I think the hot pick is pink. Hot pick. Hot pick is way more Vicky. So let's try it. And I know for some of you, this is probably making you go like, ooh, that's so gross. What is she thinking? It will work out in the end. You watch. Ready? Ooh, that one for sure. Is anybody making with me tonight? Are you making anything similar to this or are you doing other things? I love the pink. Let's try a blue to test it, to have two options. And I will show you, you can't see it. It's off screen, but I'll show you the pink in a minute. But I know for some of you, you're like, mm, that's gross. So I will show you in a second. We'll make later when you're feeling better, definitely. I was just curious if anybody was crafting tonight or doing anything else. Are you making anything else? Did anybody make supper? Because if you're on the, in the same time zone that I am, um, then it's almost 7 o'clock. And you could have people coming to find you. They could be coming to find you saying, what is going on? Are you going to feed me? And you know my kid is not feeling well because no one has come to find me. <laughs> no one has come to find me. So Rich is probably eating peanut butter on a stale hot dog bun. And Riley is maybe going to be hungry soon, but I don't know. His girlfriend is good. She was taking care of him. She went and got him ginger ale and Pepto. Um... And I just brought him crackers and water and all those kind of things. But I think he's feeling better now. Your Bible journaling. I love it. You just got back from lazy river tubing. Oh, my goodness. How fun does that sound? I want to go lazy river tubing. I want the sun to come out in my part of the world. That would be the first thing. So I just want one day to lay by the pool. Literally lay by the pool with some... Um, margaritas or my other favorite is um i just forgot what's the wine with the fruit in it sangria you know just kind of that nearly midnight so you're watching from bed where are you essie where do you live i want to know what part of the world you're in where it's that late you're having cold cereal for um supper uh no judgment veronica i love when i ate that kind of thing cereal what kind of cold cereal i want to know captain crunch fruit loops corn flakes what is your cold cereal of choice bran i would have popcorn for supper quite happily but we don't have any, so I'm safe from the popcorn for supper. Let's see what these look like. Sunday lie-in. Oh, it's Sunday and you're just laying in bed. I love that. I haven't done that in a very long time. It's cold and wintry down under. It's just rainy here. I agree, Vicky. We were going, we're going to see the sun at all this summer. I know Devin has been complaining about it. It's 1 a.m. in Sweden. Crazy big kick like that is i have like 12 manual die cutting machines and that one just happens to be the one i always grab because it's down here okay did i cut enough pink i cut three didn't i yes what did i do with the other oh <laughs> one two three <laughs> Vicky, you're such a dork okay so look so you know when we put these down i need to find a better package of foam dots but this is what i have for now so we'll just go with it that these are going to be popped up for sure.
that is going to happen. The bugs are going to be popped up for sure. So I just won't take the other backing off, but I can get them ready. Because I love that. So you have an element, you can put it on the pink, which I really love that contrast, don't you? I love it. So near Sydney in lockdown, oh my goodness. It's a glorious hot day there. Where did you say, Essie, I missed it. So you guys, some are in Mississippi and South Africa and Australia and Sweden. I love it. I love that we watch from all over the world. We are wishing for rain in BC. Yes, definitely. So many forest fires. It's absolutely heartbreaking and I hope the rain comes soon. We'll send our rain out there. Um, it is, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. Like we are getting so much rain here. And you guys aren't getting any rain, which shouldn't be happening, but it's crazy. And Veronica's having Fruit Loops, which is one of my favorites. Popcorn, too much work. Yeah, Fruit Loops are yummy though. And nearly midnight in Scotland. I want to come see you in Scotland. I worked on a working holiday. Oh, let me show you on the blue for some of you guys who want to see it on like something. Look it if you want more of a neutral. Oops, you could totally do the blue. I am not going to do the blue. I'm going to do the hot pink because I really am loving it. So I'm going to put some of these together. It's 7 a.m. in Quebec City. Seven hours. I don't know what time it is. That can't be. We have to be on the same right where you are. It is 7 p.m. Um, Because we are close. Well, not close, but we're on definitely on the same time zone. Quebec and here, Vicki, here in Southern Ontario near Niagara Falls. That's where I am located. I am totally loving this. We need the rain in Montana too. I know it's so crazy. I like the pink too. I'm totally going with the pink. And if you've met me and my love for Barbie, I just ordered a pair of Barbie earrings yesterday too, because um, one can never have too many pairs of earrings and never too many pairs of earrings with my friend Barbie on them. <gasps> Look how fun. I love this. So, you know, if you follow me, this we're getting totally crazy up in here tonight. This is a crazy kind of thing that I'm making, but I'm enjoying myself. So I'm going to just keep going. And I know some of you are going to leave and come back and go, oh, she's still here. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm not going to, I don't think, finish the entire page, but you're going to see at least the base of it. And then um, I'm going to put gold thickers on here for sure. You could put a cut file on here too. would be awesome. You could cut that out of gold paper. Um, or you could heat emboss it with the gold, like cut your cut file, big title. Wouldn't that be awesome up here? Big title. Um, and then you could totally uh, put your embossing um, ink down on it and put the powder on and emboss it. <gasps> I want to do that now. I want a big scripty title, like big, right up here. Um, and I don't know what it would be. I don't even know yet. I don't even have a photo printed because it's not how I roll sometimes. I'm just doing the things. I want to decide where can I see some of that green. But do you, can you picture it? Scripty title that comes up the page like this that I don't even cover the whole thing in gold, but part of it in gold. I love it. I want to do that now. Right? Scripty title. And then I can put my mats up off the bottom of the page, layer some colors, put some photos on here, some journaling strips. I can see it all coming together. Uh, where can you buy a digital copy? A digital copy of what? I'm not sure what the question was. Use the mink. I could totally use the mink, but now I want a cut file. I totally want a cut file and I could mink it, but I think because you already have the embossing powder, why pull out another tool, right? Why pull out something else? Let's just use what we have. So um, I think I might do that. So you will see that I'm going to find some kind of really fun scripty title. 
and I am going to then just pounce some of my distress or you could stencil on it, but I don't want any more pattern. I have enough pattern going on. Um, I'm going to take it. I'm going to pounce the ink pad on it. And then I am going to raise it. And it's I can just see it coming right up here, kind of angled. And then maybe some other funkiness going on. Yes, I want to. Um, color study. For sure, color study papers. I'm going to add more color on here digital copy of color study. You can find it on American crafts. You will notice I do not promote or really talk about the digital stuff only because, um, how do I say this where it doesn't, but I, the, it does not serve me in any way to promote it because I do not get paid anything from the digital copies of color study. So I don't um, really go on there. You can totally go and find all of that stuff on American Crafts. But um, I don't really, it's, you don't see me using it or talking about it. I just use the paper stuff. But yes, you definitely can find all of this, those papers on, um, I, I don't even know where it is. It's somewhere on the American Crafts site. I love this so much. Look at I love this. So um, I'm, but I want to attach these now some way. So it looks like a little chain hanging from the top. I could totally, if I wanted to, you could put like another strip. Look, I might just use this because this blue really goes well with this. I'm probably will map my photo in this too, but watch. So I had the strip. But yes, definitely go. I'm actually going to go and download, or I ask for all of this because I don't have the digital files for color study because I would like to use some of the elements to make some things. Watch, friends. I think this is going to be fun. Are you ready? So now, so they're not just floating in space. Look at if we put this little blue thing on here, and then I put my little guys on here. I love that. Isn't that fun? Do you love it? I love that. So I'm committing this. I'm going to commit that to the page. I'm totally, totally digging that. And I know you can't see very well with the reflection. So I'm hoping there. I love it. Oh, I love it. So we'll do some other things. You watch what's going to happen here. I'm going all out. Let's just keep making the things. And guess what? There was no plan for this tonight. I did not draw this out. I didn't do any of it. I'm just letting the project speak to me. So, you know, this is what you get when you do um, a live with me. <laughs> is there is no planning going on at all a lot of times. I just make what comes to me. Okay, I'm going to trim the top because it still has the perforation marks on it. And I can trim the top of my doodad at the same time. I hope I put that in the right spot that these are going to, yep, I like it. Totally digging it. And Watch what I'm going to do next. Watch what I'm going to do next. So I need to shop my stash and I hope I have them down here. But see now if I had Tim Holtz clips, guess what I put on each one of these a clip. But I don't, but I want to see if I have any brads around. Let me go look. Let me go look. I've got to have at least one grad down here. I know there's tons of them upstairs, but I don't want to go up there. What color do I have? Red won't work. Red won't work. Ooh. But if I use those, nobody else. Ooh, these are too big, but let's see, maybe. So I bet a lot of you threw your brads away, didn't you? 
threw your brads and your eyelets away because you don't use those, but I love it. So look, I found this old container of brads. What colors do we have? Black? Black can work. It's not ideal, but oh, maybe I'll just, here, I'll pick a couple of the smaller ones because I do think they need to be small. So if you're new, these, do you have these? Do you remember these? Some newer crafters might not remember the day of Brad's. I don't know what size I want to use. I own them in every single color and finish. I love them. I never threw any of my medals away because we used to have all of the medals. Like it was a big thing when you were a crafter. Do I like that? Can I use? I like the bigger one. Let's see if I can get away with it. No, I will not use that. But I like the silver finish. So I don't even know. I think these were chatterbox or some kind of crazy. These brads, that's how old they are. But like I said, I do not throw them away because I love them. I did not throw my eyelets away. I did not. I have containers and containers of metals because I love them. Like, uh, do you remember we used to have book plates? If you've been around for a while, do you still have that stuff or did you get rid of it? Book plates and metal charms. And do you remember we hat pins? Uh, do you remember the company Maya Road? I miss their stuff so much. All the chipboard. Like we, when this industry was huge, we went all out. Like we had the things, my friends. So it needs, right? So many brads. You still have them. I hope you guys didn't. A lot of people got rid of that stuff. And I see a lot of my friends are like clearing their um, scrapbook rooms out and they're not crafting anymore. And I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to regret it. Can I tell you something though? I'm moving this over. Because I feel like it needs to, hopefully I don't ruin anything. I'll try, try not to ruin the things. Eek. But it's too close to that side. And during my 12 hour Facebook live and YouTube live. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Just make sure it's straight. And if I turn it that way, I can tell better. Okay. And now I need something to poke a hole for my brad. And if I can find an exacto knife, because, ooh, ooh, I found one. I will use that. These guys have to go back on here. Still here watching. I know this is freaking long, right? But here's the plus. If you guys don't watch it live, you can always fast forward to see what I'm doing. But in the reality of creating something like this, it doesn't happen in, in 20 minutes or an hour. Like if I did it where it was not a live video, I could fast forward through to the good stuff, right? But for today, I like that better. I moved it over a bit. It's better. And now I'm going to poke a little hole centered. This knife is pretty dull. But I got to watch because I've been known to slice the whole page and my finger... And I don't want to do that. But the details, right? It's all in the details. Ugh. And normally I would have my little poker tool. It's upstairs or somewhere. And I'm not going to go look for it. You've met me before, friends. I'm just whatever. I will just eyeball and do the things. I'm going to lift for a minute so I can make my adjustments. It's out of screen for a second. Sorry. Sorry. Here we go. It's 
See, I like that. Doop, doop. And we look and we go, I'm going to move this down a little bit. Because when I was doing it, I hadn't planned on those. Now Vicki buckled her paper, so don't do that. Good. Good, good. And try not to put a hole in your craft mat if it's behind as well. It's probably not a good thing. I know I freak you out with some of this stuff, right? Good night, friend. Um, I see somebody is saying good night because it's late and uh, they're done with my 12 hour YouTube and Facebook live. I'm almost done too. I'm not going to lie. I have to teach tomorrow. And it is going to be a lot long one. So all I'm doing is going to the back, the Brad, closing it. There are so many things that I would love. I would love if I would have a um, stamp that I could have stamped something, but I might draw on it. But I would like details. Like I would have loved details um, around that. Like you could layer and layer and layer. Just keep going, right? But yes, we have class tomorrow at 10 a.m., if you are taking the Let's Wander lay up or album class, it is at 10 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Make sure that you have the YouTube link all set up and ready to go. And really all you need to print if you want anything is the cutting diagram. I've not purged any of my stash since I started in 2002. Yeah, you have some good stuff left then, right? So I love that so far. And then we will, for sure, some of this pink will have to show up again. So let's just cut a piece. Like I'm going to fake like there's a mat there. Don't even know what size this is, but it will work. Right? So I know that that could work really pretty there. And I will layer something because this is a little too um, blah for me right now. But. Okay, and it was going to go on an angle like that so I can figure out how to cut it. So I will just line up my dots. So imagine this is going to go here and then um, I'll figure something else out. But that for sure, I'm going to have my title here with some subtitles, some stickers. Like I feel like this will be kind of um some jazz that will go on here do do cuz i think right it would be fun to put little sticker words on here so we could do something like who um who when where who what when right like it just could be fun where you're just making this an element instead of it being when, where, what, maybe something like that. I just like that there's metallic in it, right? So see what I'm saying? What, where, and when? And I love tying the black in and the metallic on there is fun, right? I like it. What about this? Uh, what about stencil some pink on that corner? Probably not, but definitely do whatever you want, right? Um, I don't want to take any more painty stuff out, but I'm going to layer papers. I'm going to put another one with this one and then the photo mat, which I can cut out in the blue. You know what I mean? I can tie that in there and I'll map my photo on that blue and I can pop these words up because I don't want them flat. Where, 
what, where, when. This is back in the day too when I would work for um, manufacturers and different design teams. Do we want it kind of lower? Maybe. Yes, because I have some other ideas. I'm going to layer some other stuff on here too eventually. So I'm going to put these words near the bottom. I love it. And then you watch, I'm going to put like a little flower or something on here. It's going to be so good when it's done. Because it's going to be unexpected and a different use. You do not have to buy these kind of bug things and have like, you know, where I will have ladies or men, guys, anybody who's crafting with me and you're like, oh, I don't buy flowers because I only have boys or I don't buy butterflies because, you know, I only have boys. Um, I look at it and go, well, let's figure out a different way to use them that doesn't have to be the traditional way, right? And I don't even care what these words say. I can, I can tie this into the story I'm going to put on this page any way I want to, right? This could be for a um, card whatever you want. I like that I'm tying the pink back in over here, but it will not be, it doesn't mean I could put a picture of my son on here. I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't even know. I might never put a photo on this page because it's kind of how I roll sometimes is I just like the process of making, but this totally could be on a card. You could have just put two bugs on a card and you could put, um, Hey, old bugger. <laughs> for a 50 year old birth or 50 birthday or whatever you want to put on it right happy birthday whatever you want to put on there love it right look at okay totally love that I know that that's going to happen i'm going to tack this piece here even though like we can put any colors behind it like whatever you want look at that could be really fun look at pick a section for the pinks and blue like whatever you have I love that I love that so whatever you want to put on there I don't know yet I'm not going to finish this right now but you guys see where I'm going. I could put a second photo there, but I don't want to cover this. So, you know, I do a lot of single photo. You could do this as a double for sure. You could totally have put two sheets of that down and made this come back up on this side and then done a double on here if you want. But I do see like a big title. I'm going to go and find a big title and then some subtitles and put some other elements with it. I want to find something that I could put on each one of these bugs that um i could put a number like one two three would be really cool uh i love it i love it could have put the little clips on there like the little black clips could have been cool right look at like that love that too whatever you want to do, right friends? And I'm going to put some more elements. Like I will not leave it like this, but I think the numbers could be really fun. Numbers could be really fun. And because I don't have everything here with me right now, I'm going to have to do a little searching, but you get what I'm saying, right? These are way too big, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like a number could be really cool on there look it that's actually kind of fun because if you don't like that bug look the number has to be smaller but let's see oh, i love that do you love it how fun is that right
or you could put a word like wow. But I love that, like one, two, three for what, where, when. And I don't have them on this sticker sheet because I've used them already on the thickers. But I totally love that. And now we have the um, bug is no longer just a bug. It's just instead of using a circle, we used a bug behind it. But I totally love that idea. But any three numbers that could make sense, right? So it, that might end up happening. If I can find a number, one, two, three, that I put on here. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Pictures of a Volkswagen bug race. If you have them, how awesome would that be? Right? I love it. You could jewel your bugs up. Sure, you could. Totally put stickles on where the dots you can only kind of see. But I totally am digging that. And I want to tie this pink in that it's going to be a matte. But I also want some more color on here. And then a big title. But look at it takes a long time to do some of this stuff but i really really am loving uh where we're going so far so uh like i said i'm gonna do a big title with some gold oh so look at this idea friends so cut file so let's say um or even any like think what play on words with bug um love bug <gasps> How fun would that be, right? If I put love bug on here and then we have bugs. So I'm going to cut love out. I'm going to do that on here. Love bug. I decided just so it fits the bugs in and, and it doesn't drive you guys crazy. So in a script, imagine love bug. And then I'm going to cut love bug out and I'm going to add gold to it. But I'm going to offset another color underneath it. So when I pop it up, it will have a shadow of another color. And that will be the third color I'm going to use on this layout. Cute as a bug. I love that too. Right? I love that. Right? Don't you think that'd be fun? So let's say that I put some purple on here. Because I totally could if I wanted to, right? I could totally offset that underneath it. And then that's what the color would be for up here. I think it would be so much fun. I think offset the color and Natalie will help me because I'm not a big um, know how to do all of the things, but I think love bug or cute as a bug. Yeah. Or something bug you bug me, <laughs> put a bridge, quit bugging me. See we, Elaine, um, we totally just thought of that at the same time. Right. I, I could say other things, but we'll keep it PG. But, right, you could just do, like, love bug is what I just pictured. Love bug. I think it's fun. So I want to do this now. I want to that in a script that I'm going to put embossing powder but not cover the whole thing. And then I want to offset another color, which will be the tertiary, whatever third color I'm going to use on this layout, that will be offset underneath it. Right? Bug off, maybe. Um, and then you could just put that that color flat pop up the gold word and then i will put some like a gems around it and i do want numbers on these because now i love that layered look i'm going to put one two three and then i could also journal like three reasons that i love you or the what where when so about whatever is in that photo i could journal beside these because they can be be like little journal block sections Bugging out. I love that. Bugging out is a great idea too, right? So if you have, you want it to be very literal, you totally could. But I'm totally digging this, friends. I'm totally digging it. So that was very long, like it ends up happening to be. And I'm not even done yet. But now I will have to pull things out so I can finish it, right? So I'm um, not going to be finishing it tonight because it's not going to happen. But, uh, hi, look at, I'm trying not to have the lights in the background, but to give you an idea, if you guys can, couldn't see that very well, I love this and I have to finish, figure out how to finish it, but it all started with wanting to put some black, um, and use the fluorescence and we still, right, have this one we can do something fun with. 
I have a hard time because everything's backwards, right? But it's going to be fun. Um, Vicki, will you be live next Friday? Yes. I just was sick this week. Like I'm not 100% today, but uh, I'm always live on Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern time. But I was sick last night. I couldn't have done it. So that's why I'm on here on a Saturday. And I really love how this turned out. We still have lots that we can make, right? We have all these backgrounds. We made all of this stuff. And I will make some things and post it. But at least you get an idea, right? We have all these backgrounds that were just made from cleanup. That I'm sorry, it's hard uh, to read the um, iridescent or the uh, fluorescent with the lights. But we have all of these still to do. We have this background that we can make something magical out of. And I got to finish this bug layout because now I have to pull out my Cricut and cut a title. And then I'm going to heat emboss on that title, offset it on another color, and then map my photo and then put some embellishments on it. So I will definitely, definitely take pictures so you can see what happens. But that was fun. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I needed this. So it felt good to just make um, on our uh, three hour live like I do. But I'm not the only one. I think if you craft with anybody live, these are normally very long because um, you're just going through the process. So I really enjoyed that. If you're joining me tomorrow for the mini album class, we're going to be making this. I still have kits on vickybooten.com. If it's something you think you're going to be interested in, you don't have to do it live with me. The video will be there for you to follow along. I will be um, with you guys if you're taking the gel plate class, which is going to be so much fun, on Monday at 6 o'clock. Make sure if you haven't already that you join the uh private Facebook group so you can get all the information. I'm going to go post some details on there. I will be back live next Friday and um, we can decide. I, I would like to do something with this, but you guys will have to have watched this video, but we could fake it. I can fake it and do this again, um, but I'd like to build something on this. I think it would be really fun. So we will figure it out. But thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday afternoon or Sunday morning or midnight, whatever time it was in your uh, part of the world. And if you haven't already, make sure you give the video a thumbs up um, and follow on my uh, YouTube channel. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure that you have um, also comment, leave a comment or like, subscribe, do all of those things because it certainly helps. And I will post some of the links so you can find some of these things as well. But have a great evening. See you guys later. And uh, we'll talk soon.